fucking. Oh, God. There were no dreams back then. No, none. We have so much to talk about. I don't even know where to begin. We got Bill Burns Studio oh, and Colin God. Quinn in Studio. And uh, they just entertained the hell out of us for the last 10 minutes. Look who else you have in the studio? The other celebrity, Adam Gerwitz. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam in the corner. Of course, the big Patrice O'Neill benefit today. That's why Bill Burr is in town. That's why Colin Quinn's in studio. Uh, it's going to be a great night. Uh, no tickets available, obviously, right? I don't you know think what? so. Uh, no, that we're gonna. There's a few. Oh, they're gonna, gonna be released. Hey, it's one of those things where they oh, release yeah, the last know, minute. We, we had to save some for uh, for blocking family and friends and that type of stuff. So we have. And some... those people didn't show up, so now <laughs> yeah. they release. Yeah, Patrice insulted all of them, so <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to come to it. So uh, there's gonna be very few, but uh, they're gonna be released at uh, twelve. Okay. 12 noon, and I was supposed Do to. Do they go to the box office at the New York uh, City you Center? You know, I have that information somewhere in my phone here. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I was supposed to have all of that. They'll figure it out. Maureen's going to I don't kill like me. the fact. That, yeah, exactly. Thank God Maureen was not. I don't like the fact that Bill Burr actually put a whole thing together that kind of worked at the uh -huh. city center. You know what? I yeah. love it, and I love that it bugs Colin. Yeah. I love that yeah. he probably lays at night staring at his awful yeah. ceiling. <laughs> but everything bugs Colin. I don't even know what it doesn't. needed to be painted I'll for 10 what, years. What? <laughs> got to bugs <laughs> Colin. On that. Shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter because I literally kept this on today because I know facial my facial hair really bugs Norton. <laughs> <laughs> you have my permission to marry him. <laughs> what doesn't bug you? What doesn't bug you, Colin? Pretty much everything bugs you. Um, joy. Joy yeah. bugs Colin. I'll tell you what doesn't bug me? Racial equality. Uh, People getting nice. along. Yeah, it is nice. The new society we live in, that kind of thing I enjoy. That, yeah. that first day of spring. Oh, good oh that is good. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's had a lot of observations just sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's talking about a business model. You went after him. We're bitching no, about live reads. You're belly. going after us. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was literally I just answering a question. Why unusual from what happens on the show every day? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Isn't this what we do is go after whoever's talking? Bash Tell us how you up. really feel. Uh, Whoa, uh, Chip. That's wow. a good one. I want to see Chip when Mark Cuban comes in. I want Chip to stay in character the whole time. And yeah. I don't have the guts to do it. And then just do it, and and what can he do? Just somehow. without anyone laughing or making yeah. it like he's doing a Get bit. Get him to commit to be putting you on Shark Week, whatever the hell it's called. Shark, Shark Tank. Shark Week. <laughs> Shark Week. <laughs> but if you combine those two shows, it could be pretty good. Shark pretty Tank good. Week. Yeah. Mark Cuban is going to come in in about an hour. We like Mark Cuban. What's your cigar? <laughs> That's a good one. I know. That is a good one, Chip. SNL might have taken Chip. Fucking I heard about SNL that. SNL might have uh, took Chip. I didn't see it, but I, I saw, heard something. I saw SNL. Just another yeah. one. Like that girl, Justin Bieber. The girl, oh, Chippy. That was last week. Who's, right? who's at the party wrecking things. And I don't. I, Chip doesn't have the exclusive on a joke that doesn't work, but she's going from like group to group going, What are you doing this or something? What are you doing that or something? Yeah, that's, are you kidding? It was really. That's the catchphrase. Is that what the character is? Yeah, yeah that, Chippy instead that's of That's the catchphrase, Chip too. Do we have sound of this? I want to hear this. Chip. Chip. You, and listen, Chip, tip. Yes. Yeah. It's you know, weird, man. It's, it's not 100%, mm. but it's a little closer. And SNL is all about the catchphrase, and they're going with or something. And they did that. The Keenan sketch did that that one time with his rotten jokes. Yes. Bombing. Yeah. Uh-oh. So they're reworking the well, chip. It can't be based on rotten jokes, because to be fair, David Keckner, back in the old days when I was on, yeah. did a guy that was like, used to go on the news at Norm and go, ah, and he'd do a joke and just walk away, you know? No, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. I, I, I don't think Chip has the exclusive on jokes bombing or at all. He certainly seems to. Just, he has the percentage, if not the exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> did you find it, Bill? Yes, I did. Okay. Here it is, uh, Tippy. Uh, the, uh, the box office... Only opens at 12 noon tomorrow, so when you announce the tickets... <laughs> That's today. That's today. Okay. okay. But tomorrow uh, be I'm rough. just reading this text. Uh, the oh. ticket release is at 12 noon Tuesday, <laughs> not February 19th. What? What? <laughs> no, no. 12 Jesus. noon Tuesday. 12 noon, not 10 a.m. Cool? Okay. Yeah, that is cool. All right, Does that so make any sense? 12 noon at the box office today. All right. At the I city center. I can't center. think what They're I probably read. good tickets. They're comps. I'm guessing they're comps. Like I those bet are the they're really good those. tickets. Ooh. They're really good tickets. Yes. Let's uh, check out a little uh, SNL. All right, possibly see what this rip is. It Speaking chip. of SNL, can we talk about the lead singer from Alabama Shakes' his brother? <laughs> <that's here today>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor young singer. Samuel. Can I have your attention, please? Everybody, come on, you don't have to. <laughs> to Denny, congratulations on your new place. Uh -huh. It's really my cast place. I just paid the mortgage. <laughs> oh man, what was that a joke? What I missed? 
Hey, oh. Tippy. Hey, Tippy. Hey. Oh, he just made a joke about his cat. It was really funny or something. Yeah, he was just kind of kidding around with us. So, uh, how's your new job going? Oh, it's great. I, you know, the, the other day, the, the funniest thing happened. One of the partners was at this law conference downtown. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's not the funny part. He got really, really drunk. And then he gets back to the he office. Like what did he do or say? I'm, I'm getting to this. He goes oh into God. this office. Did he fall or something? No, Tippy. He, he got back to his desk. And there was a midget and a little outfit or something. What? No. Yeah, just, just let him finish the story, Tippy. Yeah. He accidentally sent out a mass email to the entire company that had a picture of his junk. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no way. That is crazy. Uh oh, where's this going? <laughs> That's the end um. of the story. Okay. <laughs> ah, something fun's brewing over there. <laughs> There's something about the voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really close. Anniversary. I know. Yeah. It's different enough to have plausible. Yes, funny yes, funny. yes. Okay. No, no, you missed it. I was just saying last year for our anniversary, my husband got me. What, like a big old dildo or something? <laughs> Tippy, no, it wasn't a dildo. It was it's just. It's the interrupting with the camera. It's messing up the momentum and all that. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah, of course it is. We have exactly. to watch the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Or, or start or something. <laughs> Fucking cunt. Oh, that's that's got to bother Yeah, you. exactly. I, well, no, but it's typical of SNL. It, it's fucking, it's typical. It's like they take this shit and they change it enough where, you know, they could go, no, it's different. But it's that constant interrupting. Are you doing this or something? It's exactly what fucking Chip does. Right. Yeah. He's all about yeah. fucking up the it's momentum. It's not just the joke bombing. It's the constant... Ugh. Finishing the sentence and fucking with or something or something. Oh man! What Give do you a... think, Hit? Uh, yeah, I think pretty so. close, I right? Think, I think someone that writes over there might might take a attention listen to here or there. What Jimmy's doing yeah. <laughs> for new characters? God, that fucking annoys me. <laughs> that so. really fucking annoys me. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I wonder what they would. I wish I can't even say it. I just wish somebody would fucking. Uh, oh, like, somebody. What? Yeah. Was? I just think you're gonna end up on wish, a watch wish list. Wish Colin was back on Weekend Update. No, you, you, you going to say? I just wish Love Colin on that Weekend that would update. get fucking blurted out during a live taping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be fucking great. That would be great. Well, that would be good. Fucking one of their live taping spoiled. Live taping? Yeah. But what do you want? Live broadcast. Hmm? What do you want yelled out? Nothing. I'm just saying if it happened, I would laugh. I would never encourage anyone to yell out. I would just laugh. Well, in the fantasy hmm. world, what would that thing be? That was yelled. Double out. guns, cocksucker! <laughs> 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 that would be a good one. I'm sure every week we got a fan or two in that audience. Uh, fuck, it makes me sick. Disgusting. It makes me like, sick. It's a little too fucking close. Colin's mic needs to be pulled towards his mug a little more. Yeah, what are you yeah, doing, Colin? See that little screw on you. top there? Ah, you lousy screw. Not that one. No, no, you no. lousy screw. That one. Unscrew it, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and now, now, there, there you go. go. So do the old there Mindy McCready with the. There we go. All right. oh, People are complaining. Oh. Is it Mindy McCready? Yes. Mm. People are a little complaining that Colin's a little too low in the mix. Oh. Yeah. They want to hear like you. They like hearing you, Carl. Great, they want to hear you, Carl. <laughs> what do you got to say, Carl? <laughs> he's, he's waiting for his opportunity. Mm. Yeah. I'm waiting to jump in. I mean, I got a CNN thing to do uh, later know. today. What are you doing? What? Well, apparently, um, CNN got wind of an article that the Blaze put out about my little um, exploits with my personal drone. So CNN oh, wants me to CNN come page. on mm -hmm. their little show and uh, and talk about personal drone ownership. <laughs> oh, wow. What, you own a drone? <laughs> well, pretty, who pretty much. Pretty much. Who does. doesn't? Brand new or like used? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you. How many how many miles does this thing? Yeah, how many it? miles on that drone? Well, it's a it's a, a hexacopter. It's got six rotors on it. All the and, guns work on and, the turret. And no guns. Double oh, that's guns. terribly illegal. It's um. Uh, well, what if you wanted to go be... hunting? Well, then I'd have to take a <laughs> rifle with me and just use it to scout out what I want to shoot. <laughs> you ever think about moving upstate? Uh, well, if I was going to move, I would just move to the conch, like out of New York. Oh. I'd move to somewhere like uh, Tennessee, you know, Texas, or something, somewhere where I could truly 
express my mm. views. I bet you would be miserable out there. I probably would be. Because everybody would just be like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> they, just, they would just agree with you. No, like, all the, all I need a, the, all I need the a fun battle. would be gone. You yeah. need the conflict. Yeah. You're going to miss the conflict. Guns if, the, if everybody around you agrees that with you. That is true. Is yours officially a drone, by the way? Well, any, they, all, they love calling it drones. It's, yeah. it's a, you know, a, a, a remotely piloted uh, vehicle. To do what? Well, he, he has I to have. take a look and make it's sure everything's all right in the, the neighborhood. Is. Well, that's just it. it. Yeah. It's, here it is. I like the technology behind it. And I've been afforded the opportunities to uh, to purchase said technologies and, and put it ah, on this. Why is he talking like it's that? It's cool that I'm rich. <laughs> I don't like this at all. My fucking neighbor's got some Camrys flying up and down the street, you pervert. Say that. Why don't you creepy. earn it? Get Ooh. in your bathrobe and walk down the street like the old guys. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jerk off. And then have to try to run away with a hard on. That, that's, what everyone, wow. that's what everyone thinks. Is, you know, you're peering through windows. Oh. Well, what that's, else? What are you doing? You that's very illegal. You gotta come out in your bathrobe like in Boogie Nights. Yeah, come yeah. Come on, you puppies! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I I, I like uh, I like uh, taking video and whatnot. So it, it gives you a whole new angle, you know. Take an aerial video. You should just get like a helicopter license. Nah, I don't want to do that. Why would I get a helicopter license? You can fly the thing around real close. Now, do your to neighbors things. have any say that you're going to be flying this fucking camera Going up to. and down the street? Well, well, that, that certainly is. Uh, uh, the thing that's open to discussion uh, here, isn't it? You know what? I, 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 if I lived on that street, I'd immediately get a shotgun. That's what I, 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 I would take skeet lessons. Yeah? And you'd blast it out of I, the sky? I'd blast it. I'd lock of you Of course up. I would. Of course I would. I know. <laughs> See? Of course that, you would. That would somehow... I would do something <laughs> to something in your fucking life. That is such a cunt move. People have... Uh, Jesus Christ, Bill. It, it is. It's Shut fun. up, you grumpy old man. <laughs> He's got a fucking camera flying up and down the fucking street. And then, you know what? A neighbor's going to get one. Then everyone is going to be doing that shit. That's See? Just, I, I hate people. You, you See, really Bill? don't like this, huh? Uh, it's this awful. Is, they're they're going to the ban future. these things. It's the future, Bill. It but is. they're going to ban these things. Why? you, you got to think. Yeah. Why? Why? Why would, you, why would you add more clutter? Yeah. What if I... Wow. Up and down the fucking no, you street. Know, you know who you know who you makes out on these curtain salesmen. <laughs> People who sell curtain. <laughs> this is a big scam by the curtain industry. <laughs> who who, who an stands angle. the game? That's still <laughs> illegal. You can't do that. There's an expectation of privacy that you can't violate with with a camera in your hand or one on a little but flying whirly bird. I, I can't speak Tell for you paparazzi. certainly, but if you have one of these things, you're obviously got to take a look uh, at a window or two. I'm not mm. saying you do. Oh, yeah, you know. paparazzi, that's I, true. You know. Fucking Why paparazzi are probably using these. Why aren't they using Paparazzi? So, what's it's the angle spaces. CNN is taking on this? Uh, well, they just privacy issues want to know, yeah, what uh, public, uh, what the regular general public would do, privacy issues. They're going to ban yeah. these things in communities. You watch. Oh, I bet. Oh, nonsense. Everyone's going to have, kids are going to have them as toys pretty soon. Oh, they, they well, sell they, them. They, they really do. They already have helicopters. No, they got them at Sharper Image, the, the small version. They sell a small one. It's about 300 bucks. It's got a, a camera version. on it. Works with your iPad you as a remote. You a window. You watch you some girls get fucking... undressed, and that's the end of it. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Every it's done. Th yeah, this, you're not going to be able to stop these. But, but you don't think will, you're going to be able to stop this it'll one. Hit a plane, it'll bring down a real plane or a real helicopter by getting sucked through the engine, because they can go like 3,000 feet, some Ooh. of these. How high does yours go Same at? problem with a duck. What are they going to bad ducks? <laughs> How high? I inadvertently got mine up to 4,000 feet once. <laughs> Jesus, man. It was a mistake, though. And the, I lost it. And the plane's on Long Island. And I finally found it. Yeah, the plane's on Long Island top. flying about 2,000 feet. They're tops. I mean, they sometimes how, feel how, right McCall above the, the damn trees. How did yeah, you McCall accidentally? <laughs> how did you accidentally? Uh... Well, it was before I had everything on it. All the GPS and, and, and the, 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 the video downlink so I could, I could watch... A video uh, monitor of, of I just the saw, screen. I just saw the little boy in him. Yeah, yeah. He got oh, yeah, so he's excited. Got very excited. He got so excited that he only had this thing half put together, and he had to I try had it to out. Fly it. I had to fly. Ran it. out there in your pajamas. I, no, it was it was put, it was put together. I <laughs> just have cameras have on this thing. We I have videos have online. Down, downlink camera. We're, let's get a get let's get one of the videos. Oh yeah, where's stupid Sam? What, what are you gonna Sam, do? With, stupid Sam runs Sam? around for. I like Get in here, stupid Sam. What are you going to do when birds attack it and think it's a bird and kill it? Uh, well, I, <laughs> kill I, it. Think it would, I think the whirling rotor blades might uh, keep the birds away. Yeah, good point. But, uh, no, and then, and then I, I took it up, and I was trying to uh, land it because it was getting a little windy above the treetops, and it kind of took a, a turn. I'm like, I better get it up higher, straighten it out, and then 
get it down instead of it being between a house and a tree and whatnot. It's a little so over I, correction. Yeah, it I went from four hundred exactly. feet to four thousand. Well, I sent it up, <laughs> and it went like, Wah! and then I'm looking around, go, where the fuck did it go? And, and and I kept kept the throttle on a little bit because I didn't want it crashing. But as I kept it on, it just kept climbing, climbing, climbing for a good probably five, eight minutes. I'm looking around. I can't find it. So I'm walking around the streets now, just looking up in the air, holding this remote control. Oh, because you wanted to come down. And, yeah, That's actually yeah. pretty amazing you were able to find so it. So I'm like, uh, so I, uh, I I looked up. There's a dot, a dot in the sky. And um, that was it. And I, was, I brought it back down. Now I have it hooked up where you flip one switch and it will return to the exact location it took off from. So if you lose it, it comes right back. The technology is pretty amazing. It's GPS. Yeah. Accelerometers, gyros. What are they grabbing for something like that? Like oh, you grand? can turn the music down. No, it likes adding uh, fun no, no, music. I want to hear the music. I put ultra dramatic music to it. That's his. There that's his is. helicopter. Oh Jesus! Yeah. It's beautiful. Too very sleek. It's like a fucking <laughs> black widow spider. It's very, <laughs> very sleek. Now you're just above the trees in your neighborhood. I gotta explain this to you the people out there. You can turn it down there. a little. It's very loud. What? Oh my God. I mean, it just looks glorious. The snow. I wish. I wish people could see the snow. <laughs> yeah, this is why he's doing it, right, Carl? To see the snow. He's to see the snow. He wants to just see the see snow. The yes. Are, <laughs> yes, that's why he does. Look this. how steady it is. <laughs> there are plenty of very cool locations to take this and take an amazing video. It doesn't feel like you're rising that fast. That, you truth, how you high up are you? One of your fucking neighbors out once that thing gets equipped with a gun. Well, exactly. You fucking kill anybody. Final goal. Anybody. Oh, and explain oh, what's going on here. Well, Sorry. it's a uh, flying How many over, houses are you down? Uh, the neighborhood. Uh, Where's the Miracle Mile? After the <laughs> <laughs> Long Island references roll. <laughs> I love it. It's flying over. Uh, it's I think you can see the Northern State the Northern State Parkway to the right. Uh, there he is, your Northern State oh, Parkway for your traffic reports. That's about as high as a traffic like helicopter flies yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you about yeah. a thousand feet up at this point? Yeah, you think? probably around. There. Nah. It's Maybe a little less. A little planes, less? Planes okay. coming in are going okay, at so night when they're coming yeah, the to the airport. Well, this, yeah, this is... You have a problem? This, problem? I would enjoy this while you can. Is this a problem? You think this is going to be a problem, Bill? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not going to lie. Just think of how many fucking car accidents there are. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Every nitwit gets one of these things. <laughs> A nitwit. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have Listen, a problem. I you're love. wrecking it for everyone. I am. You are. You're a it's high profile true. guy. Promise, when I was a little kid, we'd all have our own luck of fucking jets and things. Yes. Yeah. This is the beginning of it. Thank but God. I want. It's about time. It's amazing how smooth the camera moves. And yeah, it, it really oh God, is. And that's it. That's no. That's oh, the. That's, uh, you. <laughs> that's the view that I see from from the monitor. What are they so I can fly like without even looking at grand? it. You can fly without even looking at it. Yeah. Thing like this run, you're like eighteen thousand. You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't have this. It's like a video game. What? You can't. You can't. There's no way they're gonna let civilians I have can't this. Can't have lung. this. Can Look you how smooth space? it is. It's like ass Bill, you can drop movies. off drugs. Yeah, you can drop, drop off, off drugs in a prison yard. Dude, the stuff I'm thinking that yeah. you could do with this, I'm not even going to say over. Of course, it's terrible. terrible. Of course, you're yeah, right. You can't have it. I think this is the perfect music. This, this you could yeah, drop off candy behind a tree. Ominous. Terrible suggestions. <laughs> you could drop off a rock or down the street. It, it's very. It, there are very um, <laughs> it's now, bad things you could do. It's it now there. coming in for a landing. It fly. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, now the gear. The gear actually worked. Look at that. It actually worked. It is badass. Wait, you? you uh, I would kill you put for a mixtape. I put retrack. On because so that way I can have 360 view with the camera what's, without what's the landing gear getting in the way. That's fucked up. Why I saw does he have this? Uh, I don't even understand. Yes. What... And look at yeah, right back down on his yeah, driveway. You no give problem. A little, uh, landing. Not yeah, even, that's a good camera. A slight though, bump. Fuck. That's it. That's yeah, it's an HD yeah. camera. That's you amazing. It, yes, sir. Oh, shoot like a comedy special on that. <laughs> <laughs> Hovering in front of you on stage. <laughs> Like Louis C.K. put on PayPal. <laughs> Hovering in front of you. If we could bring it to the uh, Patrice benefit tonight. Yeah. Here's the here. <laughs> get some sweeping views of the comics. Here's the the uh, part where where Show there's definitely going to be a problem. This yes. can be flown completely <laughs> yes. autonomous from remote control. Like you can yeah, well, program. Knows who you are. Oh, anonymous. That's true. Uh, you can so program can in waypoints way. to it and just send it on its way and not pay any attention to it and then. 20 minutes later, it'll come back home after it does what it, you sent it out to do. So what? You attach a camera to a boomerang. It does the same shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Could you see dropping off weapons or drugs in a prison yard? Yeah, or photographing a schoolyard. <laughs> that I could see you doing. Just fly it over a prison yard. 
dump a bunch of knives out and then have it fly away. It's too much power. I don't. I, there's not one happy thought I have in my head. No, like you, no. Could, uh, you could rescue a cat from a I'm, tree. I'm I never, thinking, I never, nothing. Uh, you no, could look please. to see if there's any uh, problems with your roof. Maybe there's a hole in your roof. Maybe you don't the, want to get on the a ladder and risk right. breaking your neck. Are my gutters clogged? On the pod, you could uh, seed or uh, farming implements. You know what I'm saying? Just seed the land. Seed the land. <laughs> That's true. You could use it in Afghanistan. Yes. Well, yes. they are. Oh, yeah, they are. They, uh, yeah. What time on CNN today? Uh, I think it's 1030. That's when they're going to ruin it for everybody? 1030 at night? No, today. Today, he's leaving oh, yeah. a little early. To they're going to ruin, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ruin this for everybody now. <laughs> no one will be allowed to Yeah, why would you go on? You shouldn't say anything. Why would I care? Because, because this is your hobby. You love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm still going to do it. You're, you're wrecking it. it. You're wrecking your own hobby. You're who's wrecking gonna, it. Who's going to give me shit? Just spilling it. I'm still going to do it. Ruining it. I care. There's no laws against it yet. By the way, this is the audio they play when they I, I tell him not to do it and a plane gets brought down. I'm going to do it anyway. What do I care? Oh, <laughs> no. They're going to show like the fucking Anthony the says board. he doesn't care. Right. He's in court like Denzel Washington in flight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll all be watching uh, this one, well, certainly. You know, yes. That sounds like a real, yeah. It's yeah a, you have a problem well, with this, huh? Well, drone, like drone's the real catchword these days. You right. Know. It's more just a remote. But they sell these things at sharper vehicle. image. I, I bought two of these for my uh, nephews this Christmas. Those are the uh, little ones. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the lower version. Well, the nephews but... are the little ones. Yeah. Well, yeah. Those... <laughs> Jesus Christ! But well, those things really still go up a couple hundred feet. Yeah. Huh? Pretty generous. The nephews, you bought them sharper image things. Yeah. yeah. How much were those? Like five thousand? <laughs> <laughs> they were cheap. Yeah, well, they... Anthony, I think you should do dice the whole time you're on CNN. <laughs> oh, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, it flies around. <laughs> so Sometimes I, I put it to the window next door. I see chicks <laughs> just banging themselves with fucking dildos up their assholes. <laughs> That's what you, you could drop off dildos on the camera. And yes. And tell people to masturbate with them. Oh, that would be great. And then I watch. Yeah, just and I jack note. off. Put a little note to whom? A little note. Make concern. Why don't I just put a speaker on there and talk through it? Dude, if they say what do you intend to do with this? Yeah. Say you that. should say, I, I want to figure out a way to drop off dildos to people. <laughs> yeah, keep off, blow up your spot today. <laughs> You're a Fox I, guy anyway. If I said that, blow up your spot oh, today. I want, I want to Come find, on. but all seriousness, I want to find a way to drop off dildos to people. Please no, do no, that. When they look at you, Please say, I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry. I meant to say sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do this? You're a Fox guy. That would guy. be terrible. Dude, that would be Fox so guy. fucking dude, funny. It would be hilariously uh, funny. That, dude, Anthony from the OB, I want to drop off uh, dildos to <laughs> Drop off dildos to people. But say free dildos so you get Free dildos, right. That's what yeah, so there's some outfits. <laughs> do something. It'd be like something eccentric, like a monocle. Maybe you'd be <laughs> dipping your fingers into some sort of warm water. <laughs> As you're talking, just creep them out. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Yeah, come on, fucking, do something. Like uh, Maria, Ever Maria, we have his coffee. Yes, just <laughs> dipping my. Is that something else to do on an overseas phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he hangs off the drone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should do. Yes. Put little mini dolls and hang them. Hang them. The right. Like, like, it's like Scarface. Yes. Like poor F. Murray. That would be great. <laughs> Why don't you drop like uh, like pamphlets, like some sort of war propaganda? Propaganda yeah. pamphlets. I could do that. Tell people to get inside before the bombing. I could. De oh, that would be scary. People would definitely get scared. No, you do People it outside the show tonight. <laughs> Everybody will run in and laugh. <laughs> They're all going to bump. <laughs> hey, speaking of the show tonight, who's MC in voice? Yes. Oh. Nice. Did that, that fucking nice. weasel get himself the host job? I'm telling you, I'm a good host. <laughs> I'm telling you. Keep it moving. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you see Bill's response. This is, they can't teach you 20 years of acting school. Like, who's hosting, boss? He goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already know guys are going to be bitching about the lineup. Dad, why am I going here? Fucking blah, blah, blah. That's why I haven't told anybody, like, the lineup. I'm not dealing with it. Tell us a lineup now. Talk, talk to Maureen. Oh, the Tell lineup. Tell us a lineup now. Colin, you are going first and last. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at you. Those are the best spots. <laughs> Those are the best spots. I hope you don't. I have to get up very early, so I can't go. <laughs> oh, well. Listen, I, I, I got to get out of here. I don't know about you guys. I got to get out of here. I do get up at 5.30. <laughs> I hope that's considered. <laughs> 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 I hope that's taken into consideration. <laughs> yeah, I just figure I'll pass the hat around. We'll do a little potluck thing. You know, just yeah, be a bonding oh. moment. Be a yeah. bonding moment. Oh my God. I draw straws. 
I don't no. like the way he knows no. he's scratching no. his blueberries like this. It's weird. He loves his blueberries. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. I know, but he's eating them like a little mouse. <laughs> 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 he does look adorable eating those, yes, drinking his fucking, I don't know what that is. Fruit juice. What is it? No, that's a What's in it? Vegetable though? juice. Beets, carrots, I'm thinking. Beets, little... carrots, ginger, and um, maybe some lemon. There's no fruit really. Does it lemon. taste good? Yeah. It's, that one's not bad. It's like medicine. That one's no, not, not bad. It's delicious. Yeah. It's not delicious. Yeah, good and good bad. for you. Well, like us <laughs> out. It's Jim, all right? The fruits and nuts are out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Where were we? We were talking yeah. about drones, CNN, mm. Patrice Benefit. Yeah, yeah. Bill won't give us the lineup. He says we're going to. Bill do won't it. give us the lineup. We're going to tag. We're going to tag team it. That's what we do. Team. Just boom, 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 all the way down. The voice is hosting. We're going to start. No, maybe he is. I can't remember. <coughs> oh, I'll speak to Maureen. You speak to Maureen. That's the way to yeah, go. You better talk to her. Maureen put it. See, Bill put it together, <laughs> but then he needed Maureen to bring it home. Yeah, it's Comedians called, yeah. can't do this kind of stuff on our own. He, he just can't stand it. He just can't stand <laughs> that I did something good. I don't know what it is. Yeah, what's wrong with you, I, My heart was in the right place. I knew there was things that I couldn't handle. I delegated power. No, I, 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 was, I, I did, I I did a great, great. thing. I just, and I just don't I understand like what you emails. have against benefits. I have nothing against benefits. I didn't you like hate benefits. you sending emails How about friends out? with benefits? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Don't get dirty. Come on. He has a problem with this bill. Call? Nobody wants to get an email from me. Why? No, you're doing a good thing. You're doing a good thing. I enjoy a good Bill Burr email. They're fun. Yeah. They're nice. I'm like, what did my pal say? You know how long yeah. it took me to construct each email trying to figure out what the other nine comics, how they were going to attack me? Really? <laughs> you, that's a lot of stress. Yeah. Colin was probably the most consistent. Right. Keith was probably the meanest. What, they just write you back all sorts of crap? All right, stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's like, even for a benefit, uh, even for uh, a really nice thing, it just never ends with oh, you guys. And then, yeah, and then the, the planning of it, you, could, you couldn't call anybody. The second you bring it up, yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is what you should do, dude. You should start with the cake, and then we'll have a slideshow. I got a buddy of mine. He's got a wireless cupcake store. And then I got to fucking deal with all that. So I try to keep each email as informative and with as little shit as possible. Right. And then this asshole, Colin, would be like, even in your emails, you're ice cold and a non-feeling human being. He just started really breaking me down psycho psychologically. <laughs> That's what I've been dealing with. What a nightmare. Oh, well, yeah. I have a oh, whole wow. new found of respect for a people cake. Who, who do this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what Bobby did? But I, I made, made the dumb fucking move of, I, you know, my printer died. And I'm one of those people, like, my, I have, like, old people technology. Like, I still have a fax machine with the stupid... <laughs> Thank you. And everybody comes to my house, makes fun of it, and I, I still don't get the I've joke. i still got a handset on I'm it. I'm like, what? It still works. Bought it in 1999. No kidding. Yeah. I had, when Bobby told me to get it. So he's probably had 40 fax machines since <laughs> it's then. It's great with the technology, though. Yeah, he is. They've all been oh. turned on a shit from yeah. Bob Kelly. Yeah, he's got a as watch. As much as we want to beat the shit out of him. Yeah, look at my watch. It's got stuff on it. You're all going to be getting one. So, no, the watch idea is a bust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's, it's a watch. It's a scanner. I just, it, it's hooked up to my brain, dude. I just think yeah. I want cake, and all of a sudden there's a knock at the door, dude. <laughs> Which one did he face us, though? Was it the iPad? Uh, the iPhone, he had, he the, had iPad. the iPhone, the iPad. iPad, we laughed at him. Like, this is the dumbest thing ever. He bombed with that bandolier. Yeah, the bandolier was a bust. I'm so yeah, happy. No, 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 he has, thing. The he, bandolier was a bust. He, he could make a fortune at a hipster convention <laughs> of like fucking old technology or shit that almost was going to make it, but <laughs> yeah. didn't. He, he has all of that stuff. Yes, yeah, he buys everything. <laughs> so he tells me to get this printer. You know, dude, it's wireless, blah, 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 all this thing. And it's like so far advanced beyond anything else that I have in my little office that now I got, I got to, everything else has to fucking catch up to it. I, every time I've used this thing, it, it hasn't worked. It won't interface with anything oh, in, your, in your house. spitting out all the paper. <laughs> and then it just writes a bunch of numbers. And I'm just calling Bobby up like an asshole, screaming about the thing. Bobby so, is so, as much as he has a temper like me, he's so fucking patient when it comes to technology. Like, I will be fucking going off. And he just, I know, he's just sitting there like that. I'm like, this is a fucking piece of shit. Next thing I'm ranting about the bankers and all this shit. And he just sits there and then and he comes down. All right, dude. It's not a bad printer. It's a great printer, dude. Just <laughs> click on your Apple. 
<laughs> Going into the preferences. What is it saying, dude? And it's fucking driving me nuts that this, this moron uh, knows shit. more about this shit than right. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then he talks to me, and then it works. He, he's great at tech support. Yeah. He is yeah. the best. He, uh, you know, dude, I, I, I like when it doesn't work. I like going on and figuring it out. Oh, God. Why would you like that? Yeah, it's like, no, Bob, I like when I spend a fucking fortune on something and, and everything works. works. And nice. it just fucking yeah. works. Which never happens. I like getting blown. I don't agree with either one of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> well, the important thing about tonight's benefit, Bill did do a great job. And it's not one of those benefits where there's too many people on the show or anything like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He just can't do it. I love Colin. This guy cannot oh do it. Who, oh, yeah, who's on it? It's, it's obviously Keith, uh, Keith, Colin. Oh, yeah, we want to know who's going first, and he's going last. Yeah. And, last. Uh, and I'm going to make him read announcements. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to fill in the, the lineup. We got most of them, I think. Yeah, Bill, Colin. Keith, Rich. Keith, Rich, me. Bobby, Bobby Kelly. Wobby, Will Silvance. Uh, who are we missing? Ian Edwards, uh, yeah. Marita Franklin, right. Will Silvance. Oh, uh, uh, Will's making it. Okay, uh, good. Rich Voss. I think that was everybody. That's Ricky a lot. V. Hmm. I think you should make Boss MC. You know, oh, we, we will boss. take that into consideration. I'll speak to Maureen. I've got her email. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 There's another thing, too, trying to get photos from these jackasses. We're such morons. We all knew each other 20 years. Yeah. Oh, you get some blurry photo from, like, fucking 1998 with half a face on it. Sorry, dude. This is all I got. <laughs> trying to put this thing. I will never fucking do something like this again. <laughs> fucking <laughs> but it makes Colin happy Keith Robinson true. sent a photo in it looked like uh -uh. somebody had poured milk on it <laughs> <laughs> like fucking 20 years ago and I just wrote back I'm like really, really? ah you know player player I don't know player. that's all I got <laughs> I don't know. who was the most responsible with the pics huh did I not get you photos oh. immediately I Jim Norton, the photo. Amazing. superstar, right? Yeah. Superstar Jim I Norton. I have not said one negative thing about Jim. Bob Kelly got some really good pictures of us from Brazil. He has a bunch that he yeah. showed. Yeah, man. He fucking <clears> set me a couple <throat> recently. You got to do a benefit every year just to make Colin happy. Because yeah, it, it seems to make him Jim very Jim. happy. I'd love to do it. I'll do it I'll do it every like year, year and a half. And it'll give him an, yet another reason to trash me. It'll, it'll be like your sort of second Christmas every why are you trashing? <laughs> why, why are you trashing Bill, Colin? No, I think, look, I wouldn't be able to do that. I couldn't believe he was doing False it. modesty. <laughs> I, <know. Yeah. laughs> I couldn't believe he was... I was getting emails from Bill going, okay, guys, this is really happening. We're doing it this way. I was kind of impressed, but it was still funny because I knew what he was dealing with. Because I knew he was dealing with me. I knew everybody else was there. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't really kind of a hassle. <laughs> Collins, Mike, everyone's complaining. But it's because he's not the content. He doesn't know how to yeah. work a mic he's, after he's all these years. Exactly, he's in a lounge chair. There's, th there's nothing else we could do. He has to figure it out. Yeah, now. get that close is. to the mic. Yes. Maybe the mic is screwed up too. You ever think Maybe of that? Maybe it is. Why should Colin have to go yeah. that far forward? You should fix the screwy things. Yeah, pull it out I as tried far to as Bob the stupid Sam when I came in. I could see the Syracuse game yesterday. No. Uh, <laughs> you don't watch Syracuse games, Sam no. Roberts? No. I even I watched part of that boring ass game. He was a, he was even in uh, classes with Carmelo Anthony. Oh my what? god! He has a great Carmelo you Anthony are... going to class story. I'm sure. What about the in... whole boom? Let's hear what Carmelo. What was his favorite subject? <laughs> hey, let's get the whole story that got here right here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Colin Quinn your Carmelo Anthony going to class uh, story, Sam. Yeah, yeah. He'll Colin. appreciate it. Now flip the mic up a little. Yeah, Colin, you got to work the mic. You got my skills. Push it back into exactly. the fucking holder. You're talking into the staple, you idiot. <laughs> right in the front of that. <laughs> All right, that now you're thing. talking. All right, oh, Sam, no. tell hey, your story. Friends, tell your let story. No, give us some feedback on how the mic sounds. It sounds pretty good now. <laughs> no, no, come on. I want to hear from the people. They're the ones. Uh, <laughs> much, much better. See, much better. I'm coming already. Oh, really? Yeah. Sounds yeah. like one disgruntled employee. <laughs> Sam, tell us the Carmelo Anthony story, please. No. Oh. Colin would appreciate that he story. Says no. We've heard it before, but. He would like it. Sam, Sam comment. Yeah. Sam, go. <laughs> uh, he used to. He, was, he never showed up for class, and the one time he did, what? It was like a history class, and they were talking about some war, and the whole time he just had his hoodie up and his head down on his <laughs> desk. And then in the middle of class, he raises his hand, <laughs> and everybody stops everything like it's an event. And the teacher is like, "Yes, Carmelo," and he just said, "War is bad. It makes me sad." And he put his head back down. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it was the only day he showed up. Oh. And how much is he making a year now? Oh Jesus! At yeah. least ten. Ten at million least, right? a year. I'd love to see those nerds. 
Wait. They had to run fucking suicides <laughs> up and down go. the court, dragging some there six go. foot ten guy on him. You know, you'd have your fucking hoodie up too. <laughs> he was majoring in basketball. He's a success. That's what <laughs> he's supposed go. to do. But let's not let's not make believe that they actually go to class. They, yeah. well, they How about have they to. just say, "Look, they're here to play the fucking sport. They're not going to show up in they're class. They're there to make and they're going to get A's for the university, right? Of course. Let's stop faking the whole right. thing. We all know that, Bill. You didn't have to be serious. It was fun to laugh at stupid Carmelo and his dumb <laughs> pop his question. No, why do you have to jump in and go? Well, you know, he makes millions. Of we know that, stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said I'm something funny asshole. and it annoys you. It wasn't funny. It was just <laughs> pompous and righteous. It, it is annoying. <laughs> Colin hates me. Why? Love, why do you Colin hate Bill? I love Bill Burr. Has hated me since day one. Really? The man. I, it's not true. I'm fucking around. Look how he loves it. He's like, really? He I, just I wanna loves get into hitting it. people I get against into each it. other, What's you lazy motherfucker. What's wrong with you that? lazy <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> he, 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 he just, well, let's let these guys argue. That'll take 10 minutes up. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what? And Go ahead, point guard. Come up with another subject. Uh, there's something wrong with that. How about the Jews? Oh, shit. Oh, Tippy. <laughs> you see his eyes light up? That's good stuff. His eyes You're in a light bad, up. You Bill's in a bad mood. Are Magic, you in a bad mood? He's trying to turn it around on me. <laughs> I'm in a great mood. How can we I'm, tell? I'm in a great mood. How can I we am? tell? I'm in a great mood. Look, he's annoyed. I, I caught him. I'm not annoyed. Like, I can tell yeah. the way you're holding your wrist. You look annoyed. Yeah. No, I got a bad shoulder. Your pulse. Really bad. I think I got to get an operation. You got to get an operation, but be careful. Anyone else have a fucking shoulder operation in this I, room? Oh. No, but I know a lot of people have had a, a lot of. My Tommy pressure. John. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> you got it's an operation? I know. <laughs> Tommy, John. <laughs> Tommy John surgery. Yeah. <laughs> to be a shock shock. It's the fucking toughest surgery. Yeah, Tommy John. I'm sure. very, calls from people no, and tell know. you the oh, nightmares. Oh, oh. I don't Tommy even John, know if very I want unlucky. Do it. Very unlucky Why guy. Is that? Why? Tommy John played for the Dodgers <laughs> in 77 and 78, lost to the Yankees both times. Mm. 81, he joins Trade, the Yankees, yeah. they play the Dodgers, and the Dodgers win. That's like changing lanes for traffic, and you yeah. keep getting in the no, slow one. No, you're in the supermarket, and you don't know which one you... <laughs> oh, that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like all those. <laughs> and he blows out his fucking elbow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I consider that good luck. He was playing a game he loved. You're right, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I how think you should bring Chip on CNN with you today. He's the, <laughs> he's the guy that picks up your predator drone when he gets lost. <laughs> <laughs> find it. Go find it, Chip. Yeah. All right, it's over here somewhere. Yeah, I thought I saw. I heard it going. Tuk, 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 and I make the sound until you, until you touch my shoulder. Down, boy. <laughs> was uh, was uh, Bobby Kelly uh, shit talking me for not showing up for the podcast? No, I wasn't there. He called didn't show up either. I thought you were supposed no, to show up. No, he didn't show up either. No. Oh, oh shit. You both blew him off? And Voss blew him off. Oh, oh shit. All right. I'm no. not the only dirtbag. No, I'll tell you who showed up. Me. That was it? Stupid me. I was tired and I went down and we did the podcast with uh, me, Carl. Oh. Do you know how bad oh. I wish no, all of you didn't show up? I know. Well, that believe me, I did wish yeah. it that moment, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and down there, sweating with one microphone. <laughs> me, Bobby. Uh, Keith did come, but he was late. He, oh. he was coming from, the, coming from the airport, actually. Oh. 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 And, uh, you know, we talked for a while. It was good. Oh. I don't like Keith's secret gigs. It seems like every once in a while on a Friday, Keith just shows up the next day like, I was, I was in Seattle. Yeah, he's coming, <laughs> he's coming from Buffalo. He has a website. You can't find out where he was. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's, go to Wanda's website. Wherever she, wherever she was, there goes Dummy. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, It was me, Keith, and Bobby. And and I forget who else was this guy, that, this photographer, and uh, and then Kelly. Has oh, yeah, that's the I guy. I think Bobby's going to be all pissy with me. Why? I think he's gonna be a little pissy for me. No, he, he, he didn't. Mind. He not. I said to him, I'm, sorry, I'm like, I was surprised you said Anthony's doing this because it's Saturday afternoon at two. I had all to, good intentions. To drive in is, is what's rough. Oh, that's Bobby's fault. Well, yeah, You're not gonna come in on a Saturday well, at two said, in the I afternoon. I said I was gonna, and then I was playing poker out east. Yeah, and the odds of that. Are I slim. told Bobby probably just woke up. Bob goes, yeah, but he could have told me before two minutes of two. How about that? When I woke up, I know. <laughs> How about that? Just dumb on Bobby's part. It's not gonna work out. Yeah, you got to yeah. do that. Like when you, you know, in the, in the city, I'm in the you city, blame it on the cross islands. <laughs> <laughs> That thing's always fucked up. The are you guys coming tonight, or are you not? Northern State. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, are you coming? Check oh, it out fuck a little yeah. bit. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. 
We're looking well, to have quite a quiet time. We're looking to hit it out of the park. Uh, Why don't we do this? I'm on first and last, so if you get there. It's the Patrice O'Neill <laughs> benefit tonight at the New York City Center. Tickets are going to be released at noon. Not a lot, but uh, if yeah. you're you know in New York and you're hoping to get a miracle, <laughs> go to the box office and see what they got. All right? Where is City Center? It's, yeah, guys, it's near you really uh, Madison a good Square Garden. Comedy show, really stop by. <laughs> um, it's on 55th Street between 6th and 7th, you heathen. You know, what? there's uh, you Philistine. Which one? Are, uh, I'm thinking of the other joint. Oh, you're thinking of Lincoln Center? No. The, what's the one you're met? It's City Field. Yeah, we sent we sent uh, an email. <laughs> City Field. Got all the stuff in it. Yeah, I'm not being a dick. I'm just telling you. I got it all. I'll be there. Okay. He is being a dick. Bill no, no, no. I'm not being a dick. I'm not being a dick. No, but I, I need really you guys being there. A dick. You know, I'll be I'm there. A, I need. I'm these. I will so be these there. Jerk offs are kicking it off. How about the fact? Oh, they're the old new. Yeah, that's why they need to be there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of hats here, Colin. I'm never doing this again. It's a pain in the fucking ass. All <laughs> good. He's he goes, freaking. Yeah. He goes, you guys, if we didn't come in here, they would show up on 34th Street. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would. I would read the he told email. He, he totally would, and he would show up later, no. and he would have that fucking what? What? No. Look on his face. No. My He'd record. come walking in. My uh, sorry about that, bro. Oh, my, he would say bro like nine times. My past history then, shows that I would oh be there god. on time. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, nope. Yes. If you didn't bring that uh, up, no, I would have. You right didn't here. bring it up. And then stage Bill, door, blah blah blah. I got it all right read. here. I, I was gonna reread it. About. Tickets are fucking fifty dollars. <laughs> fifty dollars. What? Every goddamn person gonna have a heart attack over fifty dollars. Oh, now he's getting back my, on you about your business it's model. My callback. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I call back at the beginning of our show. Oh well, my I God! To set up Cuban comedy. Uh, Cuban no, I, I don't here in a half really hour. Be, so I should be the producer instead of Sam. First of all, I watched the Syracuse game. Uh -huh. Second of all, I said, "Hey, why don't we take calls about the shoulder?" Good idea. I'm trying to why would you want to shoulder. take calls about a dumb shoulder? <laughs> Great I didn't idea. Say I'd be an interesting producer. I said, "Just be." <laughs> you got a good <laughs> okay, producer. At least, at least you're coming up with things to talk about. Fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Bill Burr here. We got Colin Quinn here. Uh, we got Mark Cuban coming in in a little bit, and we're going to break here. So. I have to plug something. Oh, oh I'll be, I'll be in Vegas something. this weekend at the MGM with uh, Atel. We're doing one show Friday, one show Saturday. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's right. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm shooting something at the end of March in Boston. Yourself, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I really did fucking beg for that. Um, I, uh, <laughs> uh, and I, 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 the, the timing, the, the perfect 1950s delivery you gave that uh, yourself, I hope. Fucking plastic pickle delivery, but you were right. And how. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'll Please, say. Don't, don't try to minimize that beautiful fucking attack on you. I'm really that was, was my little fucking helicopter predicate drone. Don't try to fucking deny it. It was a very good one. Uh, wonderful. I'm shooting a special March 29th in Boston at the Somerville, I think, and tickets go on sale this Thursday. I like, I like his articulation. I'm shooting a special in yeah. Somerville this... Yes. Well, when I said I'm shooting something, I just begged to be fucking... Yeah, you did. That's all right. And Colin gave me a hit, and it was just not to hurt. <laughs> Colin's already saying he's leaving soon. He just got here. Colin's the will of the wisp. He no, he's like kinda... that guy threatening to kill himself who isn't because he wants to hear how much we love him. <laughs> Come on, Colin. <laughs> Don't go. We need you. Yeah, we kind of need you today, Kyle. Ant's doing the big drone thing on CNN. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the big drone thing. So, you thing. know, we're going to be down a man. When are you leaving? We're down. A uh, nine forty-five. What the fuck? I gotta go over there and tell him about drones. <laughs> and wreck it for everybody. Wreck Please her. get a chip chipper. Take my in toys reference. away. Yeah. Can I do? Come I do on, that? it'd be fucking great. You don't have to do. You don't have to do a chip joke, but just say chip, or my friend chip, or you know whatever. I'll say, uh, yeah, they, 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 with the new technology. And the, uh, Coming up next, yeah. drones for private <laughs> citizens. <laughs> right, exactly. And then they'll be showing you eating yogurt as, as they go to commercial. <laughs> It'll be terrible. They'll they'll totally make shock it seem like I'm, dude. I'm you're going to be labeled yeah. as a shock jock with shock a drone. Jock with a drone. I'm, I want to see you or maybe crawl out of that guns. hole. And guns too. They don't like guns. Well, maybe there's some trickery here. Maybe they aren't going to talk about drones. Right, They're going to yes. talk about. Uh, your other passion. That's fine. <laughs> That's right. I don't. You know what? Imagine they fucking totally fucking trick you. Blindside me with gun, gun yeah. fucking yeah, control. Yeah, gun. Child I'd porn. love that. Racism. <laughs> child porn. Child porn. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for them to try to blindside me with gun control. I'd show them a thing or two. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, remember when we used to like care that 
maybe their agenda was different or they're going to try to get in because of this and then say that. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, it just like if matter. they try to blindside me, I'll just laugh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. We there. haven't given a shit about shit this anymore. in years, man. Yeah. No. Who cares? We don't give a fuck. So if they want to right? portray me it's as good. some fucking nut that's cruising his drone up and down the street all right yeah. so yes. be it that's what i am they're probably <laughs> taping right now you nah, said this it. earlier on your radio show. They'll show old fucking vu yeah, meters on the air light. on air light yeah tell them say if you guys keep this up i'm gonna p- put my drone by your house and put piss balloons on it oh we'll good like, threat release them out like release the piss balloons well, how about you just say shaving cream though let's keep it shaving cream ah that's good <laughs> keep it nice yeah, keep it clean. Nice. So, uh, Bill Burr here, Colin Quinn here. We got the Patrice O'Neill benefit, and uh, the headline today at noon, some tickets will be available. And it's a mystery lineup, which should be exciting. It's a mystery lineup. Comers. I've already emailed Maureen. You know your spot? No. Oh. Jimmy's been very responsible, unlike others. <laughs> oh. Yes. oh. I'm, I'm very good with email. I've been responsible. Like You've been great. You. Yeah. You got back to me every time. Yeah. It's very good. Not so much, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine poor Bill sitting there and going, Jesus, now I got to email these assholes and 10 responses. I got to email fuck 10 you. comedians fuck yeah. you. about the show. Don't fuck yourself. You can't do the mass email. No, no, no. You have to I, write I, them individually. No, no, no. no. I, I, Everybody's going, go fuck yourself. Right, right. right. <laughs> what are you fucking organizing? You book her fucking yeah. <laughs> why, why isn't Colin on the show more? What's, what's wrong with you? Why don't you come in? He here? moved to fucking Staten Island. No, I live on. I live on. By Chambers Street. Well, so. obviously, I didn't oh, mean Staten Island. I know, but I had to explain to them. They were bewildered. They thought I really did want to Staten <laughs> Jim, sometimes your joking is a little too close to reality. <clears throat> why'd you move <laughs> so far away from Actually, everybody? I'm I was going to say, why not farther? Huh? <laughs> I'm not that far from the Staten Island Ferry, so you're not 100 But Chambers more. Street, it's boring down there. You, you want to no, just take it, you wanna take it slow? The whole's the bottom of you. Um, you know, I don't want to take it slow. I just want it to move. It's but that's boring not why down there. There's nothing going on. Well, right down the street from your place, there's certainly something going on huh? on a Saturday so that we should investigate. Yes. What's that? All kinds of, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of wild things in Tribeca. It's still kind of that neighborhood where at night it's deserted, but there's all kinds of shit going on. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of lo- lovely ladies getting together and, and having these dance parties from, that moves from bar to bar every week. Oh. There's all kinds of sh- Wait, what? what? Wildness. Well, Lo- lovely gals doing dance parties, special parties. Yeah. Are they gals, gals, or are they yes, gals yes. with a yes. little extra? Yes. Look, I gals with a little uh, extra? Yes. <laughs> I just got an email from a friend of mine. Oh. Yes. Go ahead and ask about infralarum supraspinatus so- shoulder surgery, asshole. Oh. It's a friend of mine that's uh, oh, is someone, that good? Uh, with the shoulder. Is that the uh, easy surgery? This guy from Massapequa, so he knows what's it's going no on. Easy Massapequa. fucking arm surgery. No, if they're going down to the fucking bones and joints, there, that's a problem. I don't know what the fuck. Mm. I want to hear about the dance party. Just eat a salad. Oh. I've only been to one. <laughs> eat a salad. Yeah. Take it easy for a few days. No, if you, if you, <laughs> you just eat well, like that, you know. You, you don't have to go to the gym. You're a gym guy. Have a, no, when you be not, You're not a. I don't go to the you gym. You bailed. Come on, you don't. You, I don't. Good shape. You were a gym I, guy I, for many I years. I read this book, Eat to Live. And that's it. You're God done damn now. It, I'm, I'm, yeah, and then just do push-ups every once in a while. I can't even do that. Wait, you can't even do a push-up right now. You pull yourself right up and peek over your bureau. That'll build up, <laughs> your, build up your shoulders. You're fine. <laughs> Get to any of these basic yeah. exercises. Sucks. Basically, if 90% of the shit I didn't throw down my pie hole, I would never have to go to the gym. It's yeah. True. It's hard. Jesus, I, Colin, that was like three comments. You didn't trash me once. Yeah, what's wrong? It's incredible. You You're all right? right? Well, I was just thinking, I was sitting here. Low like, blood sugar? Is Bill, who's naturally thin, have the balls to sit here? Oh, shit, I throw down my pie. Every like fat fuck <laughs> out there <laughs> throws asshole. out that fucking theory. Dude, that was Bobby. Dude, you can eat anything. You can eat anything. Yeah, Bob, I can't. By the way, I'm enjoying this. I choose not I, to. I, I do yeah. enjoy this, okay? <laughs> is there anything wrong with that, Bill? I don't enjoy I love it. I don't enjoy that the homeless and didn't get the pleasure of watching Bill literally turn his face away from me, just gesture to me and go, every fat fuck. <laughs> yeah, he really did. Every yeah, fat he, fuck. He is an intermittent. Intermittent? Is that the word? Intermittent. Yeah, something in, like yeah, that. Yeah, he, in, in and out. In skinny and out, fat? That, skinny skinny yeah, fat guy? Skinny no, fat. I'm, skinny fat, fat guy. I'm not skinny fat. No one yes. needs to be known as skinny fat before you and, work out with you. Know. And what's yes. Bobby? 
Oh, he's not here. Bobby, oh, this is fair. Let's call uh, him. See what let's he does. Call. See what no. he does. He All goes I'm saying is, let's call Bobby, him and we'll do it in front goes, of him. Oh no, no, we we can't. No, because my no, no. I, I'd rather do it in front of him. Listen, that's every, all. Everybody we're behind has, him. We're behind him. Uh, uh, everybody has a stick in this business, Opie. <laughs> it's, it's totally fine that that's what you do. I want to do it. To, I, I can't do it if he's not on the phone or in studio, though. No, we worry about Bobby. Bobby used to do that shit to me. You you can eat whatever you want. It's like no, I can't, Bob. Bob's yeah, yeah, my metabolism. Yeah, and that and fucking 10,000 calories a day. <laughs> That's what it is. is I love thin. Bob. I'm not naturally thin. Bill Burr is naturally thin. What about Bobby? When we first met him, we all met him. He was thinner than all I of us. I think Keith Robinson said it best. He said, Bob went to L.A. as a handsome Italian and came back as a fat Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tease Bob. I just I worry about Bob. Yeah, Bob's at a point now wherever I see him, I'm like, I cross myself silently. I thought he was going. I thought, mm. see, now I wouldn't have made fun of him if I knew he was going back up. I thought he was going, going down. Well, I'm not sure. I'm the one who is. always bets on him. Yeah. I bet on him every fucking time. That he's gone I've, down. Because he always does it. And I, yeah. and I always make money off of Keith. This has been a long fat for him. Yeah. He says he yeah. has two more in him. He told uh, me he during tells his podcast. Himself, yeah. How about the fact that this, I didn't even know there was that actual line on Bob's weight. I found out that people are going to Vegas and betting on him. <laughs> betting on his yeah. weight? What's the line? <laughs> I don't know. He said him and Keith bet. He said he always bets on him. <laughs> I always bet on Bob. and He's yeah. never failed me. Yeah. Anytime he You're starts, winning money off him? I've won money off Keith. I've, I've won hundreds wow. of dollars off of Keith. <laughs> hundreds of dollars. Jesus. Keith really. is one of the easiest guys to gamble with. Mm. I remember one time when that movie Dukes of Hazard was coming out. Right. He's like, that movie is not going to make more than fifth, like what, fifteen million dollars. They go, Keith, it's a shit movie, but it's going to make some money. Yeah. And this is the research he did. He goes, Godfrey, <laughs> are you going to see Dukes of Hazard? No. Uh, Artie, are you, he asked like three black guys, and they all said, no, I'm not going to go see Duke's house. And even Keith is going to steal it. <laughs> hey, you forgot about all the 90 zillion rednecks in the middle of the country. So you guys just yeah. bet on how much the movie was going to make? Oh, it's easy. Oh, that's great. That's great. If I wasn't such a dick, I wouldn't have taken the money. It was the easy <laughs> Oh, you were right to take the money. Keith needs to be taught a lesson. He's a yeah. compulsive fucking I don't think gambler. we got Bobby. No, they just hung up right. He's not available. Hmm. Mm. Uh, dude, I'm not going on the phone, dude. For what? Yeah. Who's this? Fucking Colin and Anthony couldn't even come into my thing. Oh yeah, Colin. <laughs> Colin. He just. I. I, I texted him. Oh, I was Bobby. like, Bobby. But he overbooks for his no podcast way. to begin with. There's too many yeah. people. Always. That's why. Though, I said, no way I'm going to be able to make it. I'm still uh, <laughs> on the East and Long Island stuff. And he just. He just texts back. Wow. Wow. To just wow! Wow! Oh, also, he might really be mad. Like he was pissed. No, that was yeah, like a do it. Wednesday. No, no, but if you call two minutes before, you got to expect that. Yeah, uh, that yeah. was kind of a douchey move on your part. Yeah, right. I'm not saying it wasn't, but wow! But none of us would book Anthony do you know, something on a Saturday afternoon ever. What's, it, what's he supposed to do? Ever. Gee, like, Anthony, like that was kind of douchey. He's sitting there fucking cranking up his uh, little mixer there. <laughs> he's getting ready to do his show. Norton walks in, there's nobody there. Controller. Like Joe Pesci and Goodfellas. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, wow, you get all these people booked. This must bring back memories. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just see a bunch of lawn chairs and some dumb Australian chick. <laughs> Dad, Kelly does a good job. I'm Bob <laughs> Kelly. She's Kelly. Uh... Yeah, mm. but it was still yeah. a fun podcast. And there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah, we lost him. Nothing we could do. He does a He's good gone. podcast. I, like, I podcast. like doing it. It's fun. It was a, a nice little time. setup. We played yeah. some Patrice audio. It was very professionally done. Oh. I hate how Bob has his mini iPad properly set up. Oh, does he? Yeah, he has it set up like on a fucking floating thing that he just uses like a, a, a board. He is fucking it's, amazing at that shit. He yeah. really is. It's it played the, perfectly. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's disgusted. Good. I wanted them to hit something and have n and just hear. <laughs> <laughs> that, what the fuck? But it all worked. Everything it all worked, worked out hitch. perfectly. Yeah, no. I hated it. <laughs> that, I wanted, that, that would be my podcast. Hey, what, what, are we doing, what are we doing with all these people that have extra tickets, or now they have tickets but they can't go to the show? Tell them to get a friend and give it to them. What are we? But I, I've been seeing it on Twitter. I don't know what to do. I've Maybe just hang too. out outside the venue. Yeah, give it to someone. Yeah, there's been people like scalping them on Christmas. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuckers. So disgusting. That's, as, that's what human beings do. As long as they bought them first. As long as they bought them first. As long as they, yeah, now they can turn around and make mm. make some money off of... Uh, make some cake, yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes, yeah, for, yeah for a dead friend. Yeah, yeah that, good job. And yeah. did they get... Uh, I, I know we have posters, too. Uh, Danny actually was uh, very proactive in getting these posters. Made. Danny yeah. and Bobby, yeah. Pretty cool. Very He's cool. very good at and And... Uh, Someone told me that there was a couple of posters from a very famous artist. They're only going to make a few, though. 
Bobby that, was those saying are the, that. Those are the ones. Those are the Bobby ones. Bobby showed me one of those. No, no, no. no but these are these are ones that there's only literally going to be Bob, fifteen of them made. Bobby showed Van it. Van Gogh. Yeah. You saw it. <laughs> Who was that? No, not that one. Da Vinci. Sure? There's one by a. I saw one that was amazing. A big looking. poster artist. See, this is why Maureen was involved because I even, even, when, even when we have the information, like I can't remember it. No, she no, sent, no, I don't. She I, literally, I told her to send me this email with the information with "Hey, stupid," written I in the don't. subject line, and I still can't find it. Oh man, Maureen. I, I, but she's a sweetheart. I know she's just shaking her head, going, "Oh, he's, oh, he's he's simple. He tries. He tries. He's got a good heart." That's I good. know. Even Norton goes. Someone told me there's something with famous artists. No, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any information. None. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Stink. <laughs> the problem is this. I don't know if it's public knowledge. Yet. That's why I'm not saying. It. Oh, well, well. of course I know who it is. Oh my! You're leaking <laughs> it. <laughs> You're leaking First it. Of, all, of course you don't know who it is. What do you go to the fucking museum on your free? No, time? but he's a pop. He's like a pop call. <laughs> I think he's doing a teaser. Peter Max. He, he just no. Peter Max. He just picks out everyone's faults. But he's wrong. Colin. It's just the worst. <laughs> what do you want me to do? No, you know what the worst fighting? thing is? Is Colin? No, finds... I like it though. I swear to God, Colin you, I finds fault like because that's what comedy I is. You cocksuckers! <laughs> I love it. Comedy's positive. <laughs> I just want to point out. You did a great job on this benefit. All jokes <laughs> aside. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what? <laughs> I'm not bringing would, up his would, mic anymore. He would love to be able to say it. He just can't. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's that yeah. grouchy. But the thing about Colin, Colin hey, finds. Mm. He finds unique problems that you didn't even know exist. Exactly. <laughs> and then you, then you sit there and like, that motherfucker's exactly right. It's a unique take, Colin. Everybody else has <laughs> been noticing this about things. myself. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Colin's yeah. a grump box. He really is. Yeah, By the way, are. E-Rock is still talking to me while we're doing the show to, what to turn saying? up his mic. I'm, d I'm done trying to I fix Colin's mic. Clear, unless I start sucking the mic's cock, I can't Yo. get closer to the fucking mic. Whoa, Lift it gee. up higher. Is I'm telling you. Is it God okay. damn it. Is it because we have too many mics on? I don't know. It's probably that last mic uh, eat never that gets mic. used a lot, so yes. it's not adjusted. Mic. Exactly. Eat it. I oh, knew I was getting the blame smoke. for no reason. Let me give you a little. What is, be what is this guy show? doing? What is this no, guy Syracuse doing? Syracuse had quite a game oh, yesterday. Man, who was, <laughs> I was bad. I don't know. It was bad. Sorry. I was just saw bad? some guy dancing in front of a crowd. Guys, uh, call uh, in uh, with your uh, funniest uh, shoulder uh, operation. He's producing the show. You know, you can't even troll on Twitter anymore without people saying you're ripping off Colin. I, I, try, right, I tried one true. the other night with, uh, and people were saying it was going to piss uh, Bill off. There was uh, pit bulls. I said, uh, oh, anyone that owns that a pit today? bull uh, and has children should have their children taken away uh, because these are violent killer animals. And then I hashtag pit bull and stuff. And then you just sit back and wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm watching TV, and, and, I'm, and then you just pick up your phone and you check the answer, and you're like, ha ha, retweet that one. That's hilarious. This person's really pissed. <laughs> no, no, people get. I, I actually, one night, the, the Lakers got, you know, they lost by like 40. And I, I, I tweeted, anybody, uh, the Lakers win tonight? <laughs> Right, like I can't look that up on the fucking internet, <laughs> and then a bunch of people like, no, they lost. Fuck you, you fucking cocksucker. Some people knew it, but then yeah, I eventually yeah, yeah. I got. What are you ripping off, Colin Quinn? Yeah, that's what it is. You're ripping off Colin. And every time I see that on somebody, I know they must get so pissed off. Like, yeah. what the fuck does he own that fucking stupid thing? Colin doesn't own trolling for the love of Christ. Speaking of Twitter, why is your pal Norm McDonald uh, obsessed with golf? Yeah, he's Do tweeting. you know? Because no one's like the ultimate, like, you know, he's He always real... liked golf that much? No, he's just a real fucking Twitter uh, fucking troll. He, he, he just will... fucking, he will not break that fucking... Is this a... For hours, he's, he will tweet bit... every fucking golf, drive. But every think he's putt. doing it. Do you think yeah. there's a twist there? It's the ultimate fucking, like... Holy just fuck. Just to annoy people? You see yeah. his timeline? Dude, <laughs> it's fucking... Dude, it's, it's 100 to 200 tweets every Sunday. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It, it's play by play. Yeah. And then yeah, he yeah. won't say anything all week. Yes. There's a twist there? <laughs> well, I'm just the twist is he's just got to, uh, it's his way of telling me to go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but he does love golf. Yeah. And if you ask him, he'd be like, no, I just I love golf. I'm trying love, to love the game. I, mm. I, uh, <laughs> I uh, love golf. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the one I did the other day, too, was uh, or the other night was um, uh, Chicago. So talking about Chicago and said they should absolutely racially profile and have um, a curfew at night and hashtag Chicago violence. But that's not you trolling. No, exactly. That's you being fucking. <laughs> right. That's, oh, that's you that, being is mild. That me just being yes. me. I thought we were talking about trolling. I <laughs> look. I know what a good troll is. No, it's but provoking. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you got to provoke. Provoking. Yeah. Sometimes just thought, Colin. It is true. Just provoke Guess someone's what? thought. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. And this fucking my this world where fucking placating is somehow the greatest quality you could have. <sighs> Are we doomed as a nation, Colin Quinn? Uh, to you. I'll tell you what we do because I feel that it's placating. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those words I've heard 20,000 times in my life. I still don't know what it means. Play Kate. Kate. You know, Kate. To, to it, it means like, yeah, if, if, if there's a Kate and you want to pretend you're it. Oof. <laughs> oh, come on. Shit. <laughs> no, it's Tippy. <laughs> yeah, Tippy. That was Tippy. That was Tippy. There's a difference. You're play or something? Play Kate or something? Ugh. That's got to drive you nuts. No, why would it? Like, don't do my job as a writer or something? Just kind of take something and twist it or something? What do you think? We don't notice what you're doing? Oh. Well, something. Fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> they did shit. that shit with Keenan a couple of sketches, too. Yeah. Fucking shitheads. I would love to ask Lauren about that. I think she has no idea. He doesn't, you know. Yeah, but fuck. It's like it's a, does that bother you that your fucking guys do that shit? Right. I sure doesn't care. Mm. God, that annoys me. Are there any SNL writers uh, that um, twit, tweet? That follow you? I don't know. Mm, I honestly don't know. I don't oh, know. Well, they might just get stuff offline. Who knows? Ooh, ooh. But I do know that fucking uh, that yeah. Was, I'm careful about it. That was too it. close. That that's a unique bit. That's a unique character. Obviously, it was the cadence of it and the constant interrupting and like those and, the flow and the catchphrase or, or, or yeah, something. Or something. That's what brings it home. They just think nobody oh, yeah. will notice. So they're so fucking panic stricken they can't come up with a good idea. So they just right. Is that what they, they're worried for their jobs? Probably. There was no stealing in, during your tenure uh, there, was there, Colin? No, there was not any stealing. Yeah, yeah. It was all it was fresh, fresh air. New. All on the up and up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I did have a, somebody call me and he accused me, somebody I knew from years ago, accused me of, and it was a friend of mine, but it, it was like I, uh, somebody she knew had sent me one th uh, a thing, which was actually an Italian version of that, you know, home shop, homeboy shopping network. And then about six months later, Joe Pesci show came on and they, they thought I stole their idea and I was behind the Joe Pesci show, even though I had nothing to do with it. Jim Brewer's thing. Well, who, who was Look, it? Look, I didn't say it was a fascinating story. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I couldn't even keep track of it. So many players. Even when I started, it, some my to remain nameless. Tired. I knew it was boring. I was like, why am I going through with this? <laughs> that's my opening bit tonight, by the way. The that, benefit. Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to kill. Somebody once said to somebody else. It's going to kill. Yes, somebody. There's no names. We can't put faces to the names. Jesus. <laughs> Your guy I know the clandestine the life of Colin Quinn. You're saying he tells a bad story? Yeah. He just presented, I, I think you you just presented story, the facts. Colin. That's what you did. Yeah. yeah. The worst story no, that's ever. a good story. You spin a Stand hard behind yarn. That. Yeah. Stand behind that one. Tell a story. Don't testify. <laughs> Look like a Freedom of Information Act Maureen, paper. Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> With all the places dotted out. Yes. <laughs> Sucked. <laughs> Jesus, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah it was like, what are you yeah. classified? Right now, Maureen oh, just bumped me down the lineup. Oh, she's no. the lineup after that story. <laughs> You're still opening, though, you think? Open and closing. Great, Bill. That won't work for you, but. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh, we finally had a little. We had finally had a little moment there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm, get, I'm getting I'm getting text information He's a busy about, man. about the gig tonight. You know, he's a promoter. Uh, I'm already I'm already is... I'm already screwing it up. Listen, oh, yeah. Colin, I'm a very fact... busy man. I don't have time time to quip with you on so a radio I... show. <laughs> 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 Bill has to get information about the gig, but he acts like it's fucking nuclear secrets. Like, I have information. Just say it in the air, stupid. Nobody because oh. I know you assholes. Face. I know oh. you assholes. If I give you too much, you're gonna trash the shit out of me. You think I'm gonna fall for that one? You're going to be relieved when he this knows. is over. He knows. He knows. You're going to be That's relieved when Romney this is over. That's why didn't want to put out his tax returns, by the way. I know exactly what it is. I'm fucking keeping my elbows in, protecting my <laughs> liver. <tight>. Yeah. <laughs> fucking keeping up like this. Little jabs. <laughs> You'll take a couple jabs. It's at the city center. <laughs> 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 Come back a couple few days later. Tuesday, 8 p.m. If want I gave them all one. the information at Forget once, it. these control freaks, there's no fucking way it would sound like I wasn't dictating to them. Is this where I used the word placate, you cunt? It's gonna be <laughs> Colin's dying over there. We haven't seen Colin's head in two minutes. He's, I don't uh, know what he's doing down there. You all right, Colin? You know what I should have done? I should have <laughs> saved, saved all the fucking emails. That should have been my set tonight. Yes. I would just read... The fucking information that I sent, and then all the cunty shit that was sent back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wonder why there's no union amongst comedians. <laughs> Holy shit, right? A comedian oh union? Oh my god, Never. no. 
No, Never. you'd have to be pretty even keeled to take care of that job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It just sucked all the air out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you just like the, I really like the fact that Bill goes, you think I'm going to fall for that one? <laughs> <laughs> that old gag. Everyone's just on. Hey, what's the idea? I know what you're up to. <laughs> Everyone's on guard. When Colin's here, yeah. it's uh, but it's, it's no, ridiculous. it's it's every it's everything. It's every comic. It's every yeah. like how could yeah. you possibly how you guys get shit like back this. from sending an informed uh, informative email to someone? How could they possibly twist that around that you're an asshole? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't like how you think you're in charge. <laughs> <laughs> You are. You took it up on yourself. Well, here's the other point. Oh, we got God. it, Bill. You're planning something. Oh, oh my God. God. I like the fact that Bill, in his uh, selective memory, decides he's the innocent guy. He sends us one mass email. Hey, cocksuckers. <laughs> That's how he addressed us. Yeah, he, yeah. No. he has suckers. to talk to you guys After like that. you guys all came back at me the way you did, ah. I was like, maybe I'll be mean with them. Yeah, he's defending yeah, himself. Maybe that'll work. I'm going to get one in before you come at me. Bill? Yeah. Yes. Good news. What's up? I officially know where I'm going tonight. Oh, I will be there, there on you time. Go. You know, right. you should have started I will be there on time. The and I'm marks. hoping... I will be there on time. And I'm hoping you guys can go out. You'll say something nice to kick off the evening. We certainly oh, yeah. will. And that's that's uh, that's all we need. Yeah. What you should have said will. was, you should have started off your emails, Dear, dear Peanut Gallery. That would have gone. <laughs> Everybody would have backed up. Yeah, see, and that would have worked. But that would have worked. But see, Jimmy knows himself. I don't, I don't know how. Peanut Gallery. <laughs> dear Peanut Gallery, LOL. Oh. <laughs> Who would not laugh them. at that? Oh, and I got <laughs> Maureen's number, too. That would have been, you got everything. Oh, oh, oh. You're taking Bill special. right out of the mix now. How funny was that, that they actually didn't know this morning that they were opening the show and that they didn't even know where No, it was. we kn I didn't know. You no, I was causing problems. I, I, yeah. Now Colin's causing problems. I told him. He does. Where I you asked them if Merrick? they would like to do it. I know, but I'm saying until just now, they were like, oh, where's this, 34th Street? No, I was just I was thinking No, he legitimate, he legitimately didn't, didn't know, know that. But I, I was certainly going to look at my, my info. I no, swear. No, when you were standing outside the venue, you no, thought no, it was, no, you would have been like, wait a minute. If you need like, me to oh. say that for the bit, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but I would have certainly checked my shit. Would you? Yes, I oh, swear. Was anybody you. else on the show doing impressions? I did was fuck I up on where the venue was. I just won. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been there. <laughs> it comes the worst. What impression? You got us all fighting. Well, you guys act That's like every one. time any fucking comedian's on here, it's like this. No, but no, you're it, the worst. It really is extra fighting when you're in here. Yeah, you're oh, the worst. Bullshit. That is the energy you bring in here. You're the leader. Here. Bullshit. <laughs> Let's do some impressions. All right. Who do you want? I'll do them and I'll you do you Jimmy's do Reagan. great at impressions. I'll Okay, go ahead. Well. It's good. <laughs> Can't even knock it. Well, <laughs> Reagan said that. And he Who do you said want to hear? Just like that. Who do you want? I want you to do. Um, can you do like uh, uh, Bruce Willis? Yeah. Uh, Yippee ki yay! That was pretty good. Oh. Thanks. Got what wow. he said. Got the body movement. Yeah. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Who was that? Bruce Willis. Willis. Oh, his movie did very well over the weekend. Bruce I hear, Willis right? Thing. Right? It did? Didn't it? No, it's number one at the box yeah, office. Yeah, that's shitty numbers. Oh, was it one of those deals? Yeah. People no, like there to was no other movies out. I saw clips from it. Oh, that's why wow. they put the movie out. Bad. This time of year, it's the shitty time of year. Yeah. yeah. Why is there a shitty time of year for movies? Yeah. Like if it's a good money, we want people see it. People don't have money Whenever. this time of year. They're not going out. Because they people have money for movies. Dude, for people spend all their money over Christmas, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they got money for movies. Valentine's Day weekend's a good weekend to fucking put out a movie. Yeah, people go to the movies. Not yeah. a Bruce Willis movie, though. Right? I don't it's, know. Uh, it, it's going the way of the music industry. The exact same thing that happened. Yeah? How long before he piles on me? <laughs> we, know, we know what's <laughs> happening, Bill. We know yeah. about yeah. online piracy. Yeah. You're like, like your fucking Harvey Weinstein. See what you do to people, Colin. Oh this is your God. intervention. Hey, guys. Shout. Mark Cuban, everyone. A billionaire is that about to be serious. I thought that Mark was much Mark better. Cuban! Hey, How there, are Mark. you, sir? Yeah, of course. You don't have a seat. We got, you, where uh, you we got the couch for you. Have my seat, but guess what? They're going to bellyache about the fucking mic. Colin. Where's Colin oh, going? Seat, Colin. What are you doing? Well, then sit over there by oh, that mic. Seat, well, bring Colin. a mic to the table. Stop, Colin, Stop Colin being the martyr. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Stop being the martyr. Look oh, your, geez, Colin. Colin's suffering. Colin, I'll get yeah. up. Look how dramatic. Oh, they're right. all talking about Jerry Buss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jerry West is on TV talking about Jerry Buss. Lakers owner. That's right. Oh, greatest owner of... Uh, Got won 10 championships in 30 years. I saw That's you amazing. tweet that, Bill Burr. 
Yeah. And he went 16 times. That's a Celtics right? fan. I tweeted that. I, I had know. to give it up to him. As Big much Celtics as I hated, fan. Much as I hated to say it. Mark Cuban, Knicks fan, Celtics fan. Deal with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a closet <laughs> Knicks fan. I'm a Celtics fan. I just like what the Knicks are doing. And you like uh, you like the Lakers a little bit now that you've no, been I out hate, there. No, I hate them. Still hate them. I hate them. And the fans are the dumbest people uh, in, in the NBA. <laughs> Kobe doesn't pass his whole career. Three games he starts passing, and then they start winning. And rather than being like, oh, that's the problem. He right. wasn't getting other people involved. They start going, Magic Bryant, Kobe Johnson. They oh, start really? doing that. Yeah, they're the, they're the worst. Oof. Sorry, doesn't break my heart. Yeah, I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to get you. Uh, yeah, in trouble here. I figured we'd talk a little basketball with Mark Cuban. Why though, not? Right? You know. Hey, but I gotta give you know Jerry. Um, Jerry Buss was amazing. When I first got into the league, probably 75 percent of the league didn't want me to get in, and he was one of the people who spoke up for him. And then when I got approved, you know, and I was getting fined. Everybody was giving me a hard time, telling me to shut the hell up. Um, you know, he says, "Come on out, let's have lunch, let's have dinner." And so we'd get together a few times over the years, and every time he'd be like. You know, screw them. Just be yourself. And he would tell me stories about when he got in the league, how everybody, you know, hated what he did. He was telling me about um, he did um, Magic Johnson's contract where he paid him a million a year for 25 years. And everybody flipped out like he was the dumbest thing going. And he was like the smartest deal I ever made. You know, mm. and so you know, I I can't say enough good things about Jerry. He's amazing. Yeah, he's he actually had the, the brains to be like a giant contract like that will get a bunch of attention, get attention right. on the uh -huh. Lakers, and I also I guess, Magic obviously is still getting his million a year, right? I yeah, it's probably no, it's been more than twenty five years, so it's yeah, I guess you're yeah, right. But um, yeah, we're getting old, fuck. <laughs> yeah, two thousand five, oh, two thousand five yeah. or four would probably probably start. right. Jesus. What did he uh, want him to just spend his whole career as a Laker? He just he well, he just wanted, you know, I think he spread was out the money too. Spread out the money, yeah, is what it was. Yeah. Lock him in, not, you know, spread out the time value money stuff and but it's just smart, you know. It you know, back then it, free agency was a lot different than it is now, but if you could lock in the guy who was the best player in the game, you, you got to do it and he did. It. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even think of that. 25 million bucks for Magic Johnson. That's pretty, uh. Over 25 years? Yeah, yeah now pretty... it seems dirt cheap, right? Yeah, yeah right. Back of then, course. it was like everything, and everybody thought he was an idiot. Right. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping they were going to let you get uh, by the Pirates. They're not going to let me buy anything. Either. I love the <laughs> I love the Pirates. They got the best stadium in the okay, league. So let me let me tell one quickie. Okay. Sure. So um, I'm, I did the show Necessary Roughness, right? And it's season finale is on tomorrow night at ten on USA Network. That's my plug out of the way. But anyways, it's about um, having me buy the football team that's in this show, and the and part of the the script was, a, well, I'm now I'm going to look at a baseball game, a baseball team, instead of this football team. And so I had to get in there since they wouldn't let me in Major League Baseball. I was like, I just started killing on Bug C, like just killing them. <laughs> but you got to watch just to see, because it was kind of like a backhanded slap. Why, why didn't they want you to, because they saw like what you've done they in the NBA? Was, yeah, they thought I spent too much money and that I'd be wild. And they'd probably be right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look damn. What done in Dallas, Make it entertaining. Man. Oh, that would suck. Yeah. How could that be bad for baseball? Because they, they think they've you're got gonna... their own way, you know. They've got their own way. Wasn't Bud you know Sealy... he's going to go in there and have like the best locker rooms and all that, and then all the other players be like, "How come our locker rooms suck?" Well, there's no salary that's... cap, right? And so you can spend whatever you want to spend. And you know, you look at the Angels, Anaheim Angels. That's what they're doing right now. You look at the Dodgers; they're both doing it right now. So we'll see if that works. But that's what they were afraid of. And then their guys come in and with the Angels and the Dodgers, and mm. you know they drive it up. And now the Yankees are the ones who aren't spending. Mm. You know, it's crazy how it works. Are you still the number one owner as far as taking care of your players with I all try. those? I try. I try. I. I I got a tour of uh, the locker room back in the day, personally from Mark. Holy fuck, man! Yeah, what he try. gives his players. It's yeah, amazing. We, it's gotten better since then. It's gotten I mean, even all, better. Yeah, all the technology. They all had things. flat screen TVs at their lockers. I mean, maybe that's like who cares now? But now, back, so back then, it was yeah. Huge, but that's right? we're talking 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, he already had yeah, all well, that what shit. What about that Billy Bean movie? The guy underpaid him, and he did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure that part out. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't worked yet. <laughs> Two sides every story, Mark. You know yes, what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh, is there a, would you put them in the opposing lockers too, just to like to the other t players yeah. that their their well, team was shitty? Not so much all the the stuff, right? Because they won't have the the way to use it and plan for it. But um, one of the things that I did that kind of blew everybody out of the water is I brought a chef in to to. Um, make food after the game you know you're supposed to eat a certain way after a game da, 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 da. and so what i did was i i got took all the leftovers and took them over to the visiting team's locker 
And they loved it, right? Because they don't even get food in, in their own locker rooms back mm-hmm. home. And so we've got chef prepared food and the guys are walking out with like plates full of food because it's the best food they're going to get. And so just doing stuff like that, you, you just got to do it because it just sends the message that we take care of our guys. So wow. that made guys want to come play for you when their contracts are up. You hope so, but it hasn't always worked that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's so funny because O and A was just asking me why I don't come on that often. And maybe if you guys shut up, it's fucking food. I can do my own fucking coffee. I can bring my own coffee upstairs from the cart downstairs. They asked me to stop and get some wings for Colin, but they didn't want to Colin quit. It's always making trouble. I don't know. Yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, Shark Tank. Did, did you expect that show to be as, as big as it has become Hell on a Friday no. night, too? Hell no. I thought, you know, I, I went on as a guest in season two. Yeah. And I thought, okay, this will be fun. It'll be interesting. You know, because people are trying to get on TV, they'll push down the price of the deals. I'll get some good deals. Man, I had no idea. This show is mm. killing it. I love it. Killing it. It's one of the few shows I, I watch weekly, man. I mean, not only does it win Friday nights, it's the number one show on all of television watched by families together and then when it repeats and they repeat it like three times a week it all does almost as big a numbers in the repeats mm. as it does in the originals people just like watch it over and over i mean it's like um uh what's what's the midnight movie all the time with um a uh, rocky horror picture show right oh, where yeah. people you, you know we do certain certain deals and people recite them to me line by line by line like like you know like they've been watching it forever it's it's just bizarre i mean i go talk to kids and they don't want to talk yeah. basketball they want to talk Shark Tank, yeah. seven, eight, ten-year-old kids. It, it's wild. It's made you a big TV star. Yeah, yeah I don't know about that, but um, people know you. But I mean, this Colin thing Quinn puts you over the me. top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this though. Wait. So we had a Super Bowl party, and so I had to. I was doing out some preliminary promotion, so I went to this one spot, and um, mm. there's Paul McCartney, and he's got everything all walled off. He's got all kinds of security, and um, I'd invited his now wife Nancy um, to a, one of our previous parties, and so I walked up. I saw her. And before I could get her attention or everything, Paul McCartney goes, Mark, come Holy on shit. in. I'm like, are you kidding wow, me? That's pretty Paul cool. McCartney knew who I was. So, was Did you go cool. in or did you have to leave? No, I went in uh-huh. and I gave him 50 bucks as a thank you. <laughs> 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 did he, what did he have at his party? He was probably all like vegetarian stuff. He's just hardcore no, no, vegan. No, he was at this other this oh. other deal. It was a corporate deal. and So, so um, roast pigs with apples in their mouths. <laughs> yeah, really right. no, he was Piss him off. Just, I mean... Hey, he's what, 70 Poor years people old? He's serving got a young wife. We, we saw him, uh, what is that, a couple years ago now? The Apollo, guess. yeah. Oh, man, what an he's amazing show still. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he's still got a ton of energy. Right. I mean, he was out partying late, you know, a couple nights in a row. I saw him. I'm like, my new hero. Damn. He wants to do as many things as Paul McCartney. When you're McCartney in your 70s, you want to just be out in public every minute just being Paul McCartney. Cause, you oh, why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you've got that energy at 70, you got to go for it. He wants to sit in a hotel. True. I don't know why I just ruined the conversation with that fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's in that new movie, that, that David Grohl uh, uh, documentary about sound studio. Yeah, that's not out yet, though, right? Uh, you can download it on his website. Oh, you can already. Yeah. You can okay. already? yeah, I'll have to check that out. Now, does it download? Mm-hmm. Why do you call him David Grohl? It's Dave does, Grohl. Does he have problems? Never, I said Dave Grohl, didn't I? He said David Grohl. <laughs> oh, God, he's such a cunt. He's just such... <laughs> he's just the worst. He's like, literally, it's not enjoyable when he's in the room. It's like, he, he gets you thinking. Colin, we're not buying your what, coffee anytime what, soon. What, what am I doing? I'll never come back to this fucking show. I hope you, I hope you drop that in your lap. What's that? I hope you drop your coffee in your lap so you, you scald your genitals there. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but it's just... It just just, let me it's just say, just, you know, honestly, it's have a you ever bit... had make, making you all your money? You never had like a guy like this. This is a guy you got. to Here's a cancer. Like there's a Lewinsky. cancer in a locker room, right? Like this guy. Yeah, you. you I'm, I'm telling the truth. Jerk. I know. Yeah, yeah. He's the truth teller. <laughs> he's the truth. The truth is, yeah. You guys are sitting here. He's going. Oh, I take care of my players, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's so great." Why can't another <laughs> one be like that? I'm going. Physician, heal thyself. You come and eat. You bring your own fucking Starbucks. I got a goddamn protein bar, and you're acting like you're not. You're like the other owners, the and you can't even see it. We own the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh man. <laughs> hey, what's the greatest but success story from uh, Shark Tank? Because um, I don't get. I don't get to see all the updates. Um, there's a. There's a. 
company called surfsetfitness.com. And what this dude did, he was a hockey player out of New Hampshire and liked to surf like the six days you can surf in New Hampshire, right? And so he, <laughs> he, he wanted to get a workout and get better at surfing up there. So he took a, a small surfboard. And you know in the gym they've got those bonsu balls, those half balls where you can like work on your balance. Colin, balance. you know about that. You're a gym rat. You, yeah. Well, yeah uh-huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> step away from the donuts, Colin. Uh, oh, <laughs> Cubans taking shots, Cubans. I love it. I love it. On, Cubans now. taking shots. Come on, what the fuck? I'm the only one that saw that fucking episode. <laughs> I don't think so. In this whole room. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I actually knew what he was talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. So, so anyway, yeah. sorry, Mark. Um, so this guy. Yes, sorry, Mark. He has more money than you. Mark. Um, <laughs> so he took he took a surfboard, put it on this like bantu ball type infrastructure thing, and made it so that you could teach yourself how to surf indoors. And it's also like an amazing workout. Took it to Pier Fifty One in New York, right, and did a test. Started selling out these classes, kind of you know, for people who wanted to do these workouts to learn how to surf. Just came on Shark Tank. I, we gave him three hundred thousand dollars for. I think 33, 40% of the company, I forget. But he was doing 18000 or so a month when he came on. He'll do $5 million this year, easy. Holy and he is killing shit. it. Killing it. And they do it kind of like the Zumba classes where you train the instructors and then the instructors charge and then they pay you mm-hmm. a percentage for every student in every class. And so the money's just like firing in. I mean, dude, if you ever had crazy. like any like Man. financial failures, like in my life, yeah, I'm just saying, you fucking kidding I've had some, yeah. Yeah. Just, no, it just seems like everything you touch, like you, no, just, I, I, you I, don't I, hear about the bad ones. Yeah, probably, we, right? we, you push well, the 25 grand at it. Now we're making nine zillion a I, month. No. Oh, yeah. man. When I moved to Dallas, I was living six guys in a three-bedroom apartment. I've been fired from more jobs than most people have had. I mean, I remember... What's, what's the biggest, like, you thought it was going to take off? And powdered you- milk. <laughs> I'm like, shit, everybody's, you know, milk's too expensive these days. So I went out and found this company that had powdered milk, and I was going to put together a sales force to go sell it door-to-door. Mm-hmm. I was 21, I think. Oh man, it, I thought it didn't matter if, if it didn't taste perfect. Sounds like a Ralph you know? Cramden yeah, idea. Oh, perfect, straight out of Powdered milk, Alice. <laughs> <Yeah>. Powdered milk. <laughs> yeah. I, grew, I grew up horrible. I, I mean, the fact, the fact he's doing that at 21. Yeah, we weren't doing any of that. I, I grew up with powdered milk. It stinks. Horrible. Horrendous. Horrible. I can't imagine how you would but make that work. Like I was snorting gallon, stuff that right? looked like what, it. What, what was, <laughs> that's about it. Now, what was the rock bottom moment with powdered milk where you just said, I got to tap out. This just ain't oh, happening. No, I didn't sell any. <laughs> 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 that Mark, it was just like done. I was talking uh, about you with my uh, father-in-law because, you know, you were coming in. What was, what was the exact deal that really put you over the top? Was it the college sports thing? Um, well, I actually, I'd already made a bunch of money. So when... I was I got fired. I was selling got a job selling software, got fired. Right. Um took that customer and started a company called Micro Solutions when I was twenty four. Ran that for seven years, um, and sold it for six million. Jeez. Bought a lifetime pass on American Airlines, figured I can invest it, live like a student, and just party like a rock star the rest of my life. Um, By the way, a lifetime pass they don't sell anymore, no, right? They don't, what, no. what did a lifetime pass get you? Because that was like one of the Me and somebody else could go anywhere in American Airlines first class for the rest of my life. <laughs> so how much was that? Grand in, about 30 years ago. Like oh, my Xbox God. That like, pays cheap. for itself <laughs> in like 20 Two first class tickets yeah. wherever you want, whenever you want, whenever. for the rest of your life. <laughs> I walked up. So, like, I would go out. And, I was wow. in L.A. for a while. And I'd go out in L.A. And the clubs would start to close. I'm like, let's go to Vegas. You know, or let's, you know, it'd be, go out to dinner with somebody. What do you think about going Jesus. to wherever? And I would just walk up to American Airlines counter, show my Air Pass card. They'd have to let me on, kick somebody off. Someone would be pissed. And they know, would, I, and they would kick oh, people oh, out, too. Yeah, oh. to. I heard Magic Johnson got thrown off a flight one time. That's how I heard about that. Yep. Because someone had one of those passes. No, it was me. You, you, oh, you've shit. heard that story, right? I never, I did that not hear it you. Was you. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I didn't hear it like that. Wow. No, no. Uh, it was just, just like that where I <laughs> oh man I picked up some chicken at a club and I was like let's go to Vegas and it was you know let's go and they had to kick somebody off and it was magic come on oh man wow. <sighs> he must have been pissed. you still have that pass I know it's lifetime Wait, but you still have it I got Do you, it with me but my, I, give I don't it think you dad. really use it anymore no, I give it to my dad but here's I yeah. keep it just because it's fun to keep oh god I would have that thing like guarded oh man because of the memories and you and you can't to look at that thing. That's there. awesome. It's my dad, so I can't use it myself yes. anymore. But oh, wait, you can pass it on. One time. One time. Well, you, you, now, what happened? Was American going totally bankrupt? They no, 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 no. Why'd no. they do that? Because they wanted to get more, more business travelers, I guess, thinking, you know, if you lock the money in in advance, they'd invest it and get their money's worth. Mm-hmm. You know? 
God, I wish they sold those now. How much was it? 125 grand. What year? That's this was not bad. 1990. And that was that's still that's that was a part lot. of the six million you made. Yeah, but you went way higher than that, obviously. Yeah, and then um, I retired, Fuck. moved back to Dallas. How long did you retire? From 29 till 34, mm. 35, so really? five years. Really, that yeah. long? Yeah, and traded stocks, and then um, then one of my buddies from college, we'd get together, and he he said, you know what? All this stuff with the internet is 1995. The internet just started to happen. There's got to be a way where we could use it to listen to Indiana basketball. Where um, I went to school in Indiana, um, down here in Dallas, because that was back before satellite TV. And the only way we could listen to it, cause, unless it was on national TV, was somebody would hold up a, a speakerphone to a radio, and we'd have a speakerphone down here, and we'd be in somebody's apartment drinking beer, right, listening to the game. So I'm like, okay, I'll figure it out, because I was a, a geek, and so we did, and that's where we started streaming. So we were the first. Company that would aggregate all the different streams, and we did basketball, radio, then did videos, all this stuff that YouTube did, does today. We did in 1995, six, seven, eight. Unheard of. Went public and then sold it to Yahoo, and then the rest of history. <laughs> What's the biggest thing you passed on, or, or like didn't jump on that you could have? That you're like, well, fuck, that would have been a smart one. Just investments? Yeah, or, yeah, or, or, or yeah, ideas Wait, that someone for, had that was similar that you just didn't take. But also, how much did you make off the Yahoo deal? Um, me personally, two and a half. Bill, yeah. Oh, that's now. Take. What? What? Uh, how long that's did that party good. last? When you did they I, literally I give you a check? Two point <laughs> five billion. Can you no. write all of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, no actually, great. what they did was they gave a stock, and this is right at the height of the internet bubble, oh, right? And so everybody else was like, "Oh, it's going to go higher," <laughs> and it did. But I was like, "What the fuck do I care?" Right? I don't mean if, how much more do I need? Right. So <clears throat> I got with my broker um, at Goldman Sachs at the time. I'm not with them anymore, but um. And we came up with I had him design for me. Uh, uh, this yeah, but look how look how he came so close. I know oh, no, he's on I, the internet bubble. Yeah, I think I'm going to step off this and every everybody else dies. I'm with and Goldman so I Sachs. Put this hedge, right? Where I like sold calls, bought puts, so that no matter what happened, it was I I couldn't lose any money off of it. Mm -hmm. And then three months, the stock, the whole the market, everything kept on going up. Everybody's like, "You're a moron! You're a moron! You're a moron!" It's going to keep on. I'm like, "We'll see." Right? The whole thing cratered. I actually made a little bit more money because of the way I structured it. They called it one of the 10 top trades in Wall Street of all time. No wow. Kidding. Yeah, so it turned out. Well, it's so simple. It's like you got $2.5 billion. Why would you need How to invest it? Need? How much yeah. more do you need? Right. Makes sense. Uh, my dumbass. I would have lost everything. Oh, I would have too. I would have left it there. I would have listened I get to married some... to the stock. I don't want to let it go. I'm such a an asshole. Did, right? Yeah. Boom. And so that, that was my big one. And then, um, yeah, you talk about a party. I still don't remember it, but it was good. <laughs> I know you've probably talked about all this. I think Colin was there. <laughs> but then how does it... <laughs> call? Then how does it lead you to the Mavericks? Because I was and, a basketball junkie. And you were bo you, your town is Dallas. You were yeah. born there? No, I was raised? born in Pittsburgh, actually. Oh, that's right. I do yeah. know that. But and you were went, most a lot of years in, in Indiana, Dallas. Yeah, went to school in Indiana, then a bunch of us moved down to Dallas right after college. But I was a Mavs season ticket holder, and they sucked. Right? And all of a sudden, I just got in all this money, and I was like... Hell, I can do a better job than this. But and you had no experience. How, wait, how old were you? How old were you when you bought the basketball? Forty. Forty. Uh, but he had no experience. That's the most amazing. Oh, who cared, part. right? No, I mean I experienced running businesses, right? So it's not yeah, but that big. but sports is a whole different. I don't yeah, know. I mean, it is, but it's not that hard to figure out. You, you got to get a great GM, right? Got to get you got to get some smart people, Roger. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I did. I mean, you know, I had Donnie Nelson, um, who's still who's been there since day one. D Mustard. So I, there's a lot of smart people that just made my life have made my life a lot easier. You know, you, you look for people smarter than you who can make you look smart. So, Bill, my point is, is you hear how he makes it sound so easy. Like me and you can just go and fucking run a sports. Dude, his team. life is like me. his That's life it. is like the stuff we used to talk about when we were getting hammered <laughs> yeah. instead of investing. In Dude, imagine <laughs> if we like made a billion. I would buy the Celtics. <laughs> right. I, you know. <laughs> That's what he did. First class ticket. He did right. all of it. We yeah. just talked about we it. He talked. actually did it. But he actually no crunched the numbers I was somewhere. No different. I mean, I'd sit around with my buddies getting fucked up and telling stories, and then all of a sudden, boom, when shit happened, it's like, fuck it. You, you, you got to go for it. Are you still motivated? Because it, yeah. it's got to be tough to be motivated in your position. Not really. I mean, because I'm, I'm just so competitive. But what I mean, motivates you? Being famous or nah, trying really, to make bigger deals? Famous. Just winning. Just trying to win, right? Well, because, obviously. Yeah, because there's. Not just in sports, like there's winning in sports, but then there's the sport of business, right? And in the sport of business, there's always somebody trying to beat your ass. Some 12 year old kids trying to kill you, sure. right? And I just I love that competition. I love everybody saying, "Oh no, that Cuban guy, he's over the hill, he's done." Right? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck you, bitch. Come and get it. Let's go. Right and that, that's what I get. You know, that's what gets me up. 
Yeah. Just he, like Jordan the other day, when they when LeBron was saying he could be the greatest ever, Jordan broke him down. He goes, he's strong to the right, but he always pulls up for a jumper to the left. When he goes we, to the left. Yeah, we would just double team him, make him go to the left. All right. Who's done. the next guy? Yeah. Done. Done and done. 50 years old. You think Jordan can still... <laughs> this is a dumb, stupid ESPN question I got to ask. You think he could still play a little bit? Oh, yeah. Put some minutes in if you... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's guys... At 50. At 50, because you just get him on the court for 10 minutes to start the first half, 10 minutes to start the second half, and four minutes to finish the game. You'd want him in there, right? Because he's still Michael Jordan. You think Jordan. he could do it? Is he in shape even? He looks like he's a little soft. He looks like he's a little soft. Yeah, right now he's But out. this but he conversation, if he hears it, he'll be in game shape. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> he owns the, the Bobcats now. Sure. I see him at meetings all the time. We're friends, man. And I tell him, you don't know what competition is. And I tell it to Dirk, all of our players. I'm like, you, you work out, you practice, you play 48 minutes, you're done. That game's over, right? In business... You guys know, right? There's always someone trying to take your spot. Oh, oh, and A, they got a good show. They got a good spot. Let's see if I can get it from Sirius, mm -hmm. right? Let's see if I can get it done. And, you know, always there's somebody out there trying to do it. And that's why I, sports is competitive, but that's not really competitive compared to business. The Bobcats business. can't figure it out, though. It's been that's a long saying, though, time. Right? How many years now? Uh, he's Way too for, long. I mean, he's only owned them for three or four years. And, I mean... You know, everybody will get. Everybody gets lucky at one point. You just hope you don't screw up your luck, right? Um, and so he'll figure it out. He's smart, but mm. it's not easy. You know, who are the Bobcats? Where do they play? I don't even know who the Charlotte. 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 Oh God, I didn't. Yeah, I'm sure. the NBA loop. Well, yeah, but I mean, no one's really focusing on them. So. Do you give him really good advice? I mean, as a fellow owner, you probably don't give him the, the smartest advice. No, he's in another conference, so we're good. Oh, and okay. actually. You know, you talk about being a Knicks fan, right? We The Mavs traded for Tyson Chandler from Charlotte mm -hmm. when Tyson was all broken down, right? And everybody thought he was just hurt forever. So we took a chance because we, we think we ought to have a great medical staff. And we basically reignited Tyson's career. And He'll be the first got, to admit it. And it got you a championship. Got me a championship. Yeah, we owe Tyson a lot. Yeah, Tyson's all right. And what does that mean that LeBron pulls up when he goes to his left? Like, what does that mean when he goes to his left? Yeah. He can't go all the way to his left, like to the basket, basically. So Pulls he, up means he stops short and shoots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, he and can only right. go That's so exactly far with his left. Does. Why can't he do that? Some people, some players just can't. You know, I mean, aren't got, no. I mean, it's the, what I call the Kiki Vandeweghe rule. You just need to have two good <laughs> plays. You got to have two good shots to be a good NBA player, and great players find themselves with two great shots. You know, so um, LeBron, he's gonna dribble like he's going to pull up and then he'll get to his right and he can score he'll dunk on you and then be to set up going to the right for the dunk he'll dribble with his left hand and if you take away going to the right he'll pull up and hit that jumper now what jordan is saying is if you come with the double team then you can stop him the problem is he's got other guys who can shoot miami was smart so they added ray allen they mm -hmm. got all these mike miller you know bosh all these guys who can shoot so you may get the ball out of, of, of lebron's hands but they got other weapons and that's what makes it tough how long do you think it took jordan to pick that out do you think he noticed that the first within the oh, first yeah. two Everybody games of watching him? it it's not like oh. it's a secret right right all you gotta do is watch him play and you say oh that's what he does the problem is it's a team game Right, so if he had when when he didn't have a good team around him, you could double team and get the ball out of his hands. Or even like when we beat him in the finals, you know, you just when he pulls up, when he goes to his left and pulls up, he's got two or three spots on the court that he loves to shoot that shot from. You take that away, which we did, but the other guys on his team couldn't hit the shots, and we were able to beat him. Last year they hit the shots. This year, at least recently, they're hitting the shots, and mm -hmm. LeBron's playing out of his mind. I mean, he's by far the best player in the league right now. Yeah, I would say so. You made uh, going to a sporting event a lot of fun, and, and you got to take credit for that because now all the arenas are are kind of yeah, following some. your lead. I mean, I'll, I'll defer some to Jerry Buss when he put the the dancers but, and all that, but we we kind of changed it so that you know, I when I first got there, I, I made it clear to everybody we don't sell basketball, and everybody's like, "What? Why go to the NBA meetings? What? What are you doing? You're you're crazy!" And I'm like, "No, man, we we got to be more like a good wedding." You know, when, if you think about the first sporting event you ever went to, you remember who you were with. You don't remember the score. You don't remember the home runs, the touchdowns, the jump shots. You're with your dad, a date, your girl, whatever, right? mm -hmm. your buddies. That's what you remember. And so we tried. I try to create an environment from the time I got there to now and keep on raising the bar where if you bring your kids, they're going to be entertained. Right, because if you got young kids, you want you want to be the dad that takes right. you know your six year old or yeah. four year old whatever to the game, and it, and it, and if you got a babysitting and their <sighs> their attention's wandering every which way, you're not going to bring them back. If you've got you know like we we did a um, 
a thing on Shaq when he was league that got me fined. Um, a cartoon called Shaq Albert, where we had him walking down the court. Hey, 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 Shaq. <laughs> Shaq loved it. The league fined me, but every kid in the place loves it. Of so course. Since, since, since then, we've been doing cartoons. You know, Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be Laker fans and the whole place things along so you just got to entertain so that everybody feels like that they're in an entertaining environment i, I say that because like i said about 12 years ago when we were syndicated to dallas we went down there a bunch and i got to go to a few mavericks games yep. and he was so ahead of it what any other team was doing and we and to, to this ahead, day yeah. i remember my experience every time out you had something going on that got was you. exciting you had an arena announcer that was yelling and screaming he's in this section he's over here all the stuff we now take for granted because yep. most of the teams are now doing it yep but you no one was doing it back then. Not at all. Not My at crabby all. old man thing about the NBA is I hate how they play music now while they're bringing the ball up the court. They used to be able to play music. And then used stop to be the immediately organ. soon. And the ball. Sneakers. There's, some, there's certain dudes, right? I love the sound of sneakers on a basketball yeah. court. <laughs> That's old school. And I hate yeah. how the second the play stops, you can't sit there and discuss it now. A bunch of people come running out and start shooting free shit at you. It drives right. me nuts. It's a fucking T-shirt. They Go might have buy been... one. Well, I went to a next game. And <laughs> you know, it's, it's eight dollars, and the people are diving they over each other. They go they knocking over kids over. Than anything. It's, it's the cheapest thing, too. It's not even an eight dollar t shirt. Oh no, it's, it's like forty. A buck. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I know. No, but all sports <laughs> Trust do that. Me, I know. All sports do that now. Well, I went to a Knicks game last year when the whole Jeremy Lin thing was happening, and it was really loud. It just felt different than what you were doing. You don't like to, in between each pitch when they go. Yeah. The same dude who likes sneaker sounds loves that because it's on an organ, right? The organ's the best. Organ's old school. Hip hop on an organ, and they be like, no, but it's background though. It was always like background. Now it's just like I mean, you damn near near earplugs. Got to keep those kids entertained, or, or dad's not going to bring them back, or mom's not going to bring them back. Did you read the article on Shark Tank? You don't what, think you there? don't think the right. game is enough though? The no. game no, itself no, is not, not enough. No. It was when I was a kid. No, it wasn't. Your dad uh, yeah. was like... Are you are you saying I don't I don't know my own childhood? I, yes, I'm telling you, man. Jesus Christ, Mark. I think, <laughs> think the, about your kids, man. Sure. No, I was, I'm I not think, talking about three years old, three year olds. I'm I'm tell, talking about going to part of the game. My, I remember go to a baseball game. My dad was keeping score, teaching me what the hell was going on. Don't make right. the first or third out at third base but, like that. And, and it wasn't a bunch of maniacs. I, and you could still do, do doing that. a tumbler thing. Think, still do but I think I mean, the point is when you're fat guy trying to hit a half court shot. But the point is when your team. But the point is when your team to win a sucks. key that might open a Dodge great. Neon. I mean, we're winning a championship, you know, 15 right. months ago, and you still got to entertain them because you never know if you're going to win or lose. Right. You don't know. You saw the play where uh, that that kid, the kid, he was an adult, uh, made the shot on LeBron James, freaked out and, and oh, yeah, tackled yeah. him. I, th I thought no, that was a great moment. The NBA now. The kid's in the NBA. What do you mean? The one you talking about the one for like three, four years ago, the dunk? No, or? this was this year oh, where oh, the guy, the, kid, the yeah, out of yeah. shape dude, fucking yeah, makes I, it from half court. And LeBron lost his mind. Oh, that was just the, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuts, yeah. All right, that's no, one. All I the guys noticed that though, because we had a dude hit it um, not long ago, and everybody cause just lose it. It got because at least with us, anyways, you got to hit the layup, the free throw, the three pointer. Then you get your half court shot. So you, what do you get for the half court shot? The T-shirt, the dollar forty T-shirt. No, you got. Um, <laughs> well, you get like a big screen TV. Nice. So, but you got. But you got twenty thousand people screaming of for course. you, right? The only time I ever saw Pat Riley die laughing, losing his shit, was some fat guy came out to hit a half court shot. Just one of those guys. He's so fat, like you can see his stomach under the T-shirt. Yeah. And he launches this thing. Nothing but net. God. Place goes nuts. So he starts running down the court. You know he's self conscious about being fat, so he, he thought he he would run and dive on and slide on his stomach to celebrate. And he went in at a wrong angle. Oh my God. Dude, this guy like landed Almost broke his neck. Dude, he slid on his face. <laughs> on the side of his face. And his ba the back of his legs like bent over. Right. Like slid on his face, like down the key. Oh, man. And I like and, you know, it was right as halftime was like ending, so the Lakers are already on the court. I saw Pat Riley like literally like like trying not to laugh, die laughing. It was the only time as a Celtics fan. Is it online? I can never find I, it. I gotta find it. I if someone knows it. where that is, uh, please tweet us. Uh, the Shark Tank thing. Uh -huh. An article came out recently that um, a lot of the deals don't uh, go through in the end. No, that's true. Right? Because here's what happens. Um, what you see a segment on TV of the shows takes ten minutes, right? right. Um, what happens, the reality is, they walk in the door into the Shark Tank. The only thing we know about them is the first name. We don't get any background information whatsoever. And in real time, those things can go on for two and a half hours. And the pressure you feel watching on TV, it's even worse 
It, Wait, it, someone's got just standing in front of you for two and a half two hours? Two and a half hours. Holy shit. Yeah, the dude had this plate topper thing. He's the record of two and a half hours. And so they'll go on. The stupid ones will go 30 minutes, and then everything else is somewhere between. But it, it gets in. Tense. And we're grilling them, and they've got to answer these questions. And they know they have to answer all these questions. And we're, you know, we're all trying to come up with angles to see if we want to invest in this company, or trying to screw up the other sharks if we don't, and we want to make it miserable for them. And so what happens is the entrepreneurs sometimes they'll freak out, you know, or they'll they'll just go with it and start lying off their ass. And so after you agree to a deal on the show, then we have a chance to do due diligence. And so then we get to actually go in and look at the numbers, and probably 50% of the time, the numbers aren't what they say. Oh, it costs two bucks. Oh, no. It might, it'll cost two bucks if you sell 75 million of gotcha. them, but you've only sold a thousand and it costs you six bucks. So you get through their lies. And yeah, you got to get through might, all this their stuff. shady past possibly. Well, yeah, all speaking of which, right? So I did a deal that I really liked. Um, it was this ice chips lady. They sent grandmas that sold ice chips, right? And so cute little ladies, healthy, <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> so I, we start doing our due diligence. I mean, this could be a great deal. Mm -hmm. Especially because, you know, like the, the show repeats so well, it's going to be shown over and over and we're going to sell a lot of this stuff just off their website. And so we go to do the due diligence. Turns out one of their husbands was one of these, the income tax is un, un, unconstitutional type dudes, right? Oh, boy. And he hasn't paid his income tax in 10 years. And I'm like, look, the minute I'm attached and he's one of the owners of this company, you think they're going to go after him or they're going to come after me, right? I'm not going to do this deal. And so you see shit like that that's just crazy. Mm. And so, you know, half of them will close. And then every now and then what will happen, I've had three or four of these. Before we close the deal, it'll air on TV. And they'll get an offer from somebody who says, oh, I know what Mark offered. I'm going to double the offer or whatever because I like the business better. Then all of a sudden, the, the entrepreneur has a reason for not closing. So I, I would say all the deal. Put it another way, all the deals that are legit and should close, I do close. Mm. And a couple of them that probably shouldn't close, but I felt bad for them, I'll close as well. Really? Can yeah. I ask a really dumb question here? Why would you be liable for that guy's lack of I was of wondering the same thing. Guys. Anybody can sue anybody for anything. So if they so as it turns out, I got an email from one of their salespeople that um, said he's not getting paid, right? And all it takes a lawyer sees deep pockets. I get sued about the most dumbass shit you can ever. You've been talk. sued before? Oh yeah. Dude, you got a billion dollars. I, I got sued. Okay. I got sued. You know, I have the TV network, Access TV, right? And we did we we do all this MMA stuff. And this dude comes out of nowhere and says, I sent you an email, so you stole my idea. And on this on in his deposition, they said, Are you lying about this? He goes, Yes, I'm lying. I made the whole thing up. But your insurance company's gonna have to settle because I won't stop because my lawyer is gonna keep on going. The dude admits he lied. And he was right. He ended up. I think he got twenty nine grand when it was all said and done from the insurance. But how company. can how can in the deposition he admit lying in that? I don't understand yeah, how that it wasn't in court. It was just a deposition, knowing that it would never get to court. That that he had lawyers who were just going to keep it going. Is it legal to lie during a deposition? And if someone lies in a deposition and you have a record of that, well, can't no, no, you no, sue him for no, co no, legal no. costs? No, no. He lied. He didn't lie in the deposition. He told the truth, saying he was lying in the complaint that he filed. Mm. Right? You can you can file anything. I got. So hey, don't you wish at that point you just had a couple of goons to go out there and go scare him? You can't times. tell me you don't think about that. Oh hell yeah, you do. But you don't. <laughs> I, got, I, got sued. I got sued because someone someone um someone said that. There was a sex tape out there with me, Chloe, and Kim Kardashian, and that he was the one who took the that he was the one who took the video, and I was holding him back from selling it to make the money that I promised him when we did. I mean, just ridiculous wow. shit like that. I mean, people just come out of the but woodwork. Can't you sue them for like what you ought to do? They got is nothing. Those are the people who do it. They got nothing. What am I going to sue them for? But just the idea that it, maybe their homes they'll lose and a few messages no, like that. You know, no, no, stop. No, the just courts no just got to get smarter about all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Or loser pays or something. Yeah. But you can sue anybody for anything. You said something in there about Shark Tank. What was the um, dumbest, stupidest idea? Oh, there's that, so many. No, I know the one. Can I, you can you tell like you ever see somebody come and you're like this oh, guy yeah. looks like like how, how far into there two and a half hours? Probably probably seconds. Three minutes. Yeah, yeah three minutes. Because I because there's so, there's stuff they put on the show because obviously they want to have some fun and yeah, have exactly some right. some TV. Yeah, exactly. The one I saw was the uh, guy who had old school arcade games and it was also a oh, beer, beer tap. Yeah, I mean like what the fuck are you beer kidding? and wine taps and like an an old school arcade game. Like, and some of the other sharks are like, oh, we'll take this. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> 
My parachute out of this business is I want to come up with some hunk of shit I can sell for 1995. And I actually came up with something. It turned out somebody else was already selling it, and it flopped. It was basically, you know, when you sit in the car, anything anything hits your lap, it always falls down in between no, the seats. No, they're just making money off of that. Huh? He's making money? Oh, they're killing it. Yeah, I got uh, one. I, I was thinking, you just you just put something there. I already had the commercial in my head. But you so, had the idea? Yeah, but I didn't do anything no, with I, it. I get but it. I but I was sitting there. Yeah. I just, These guys came on the show. I don't I don't know if it's aired yet, right? But they came, they came on, because we film everything over the summer. They came on the show, and these little things, like you said, like in between your seats, right, in your car, shit always falls. And, you know. Dude, you drop a dollar bill, it'll go like this your, and phone, your phone right typically it's your phone your phone falls yes. right and you're, you're trying to drive and pick shit up yeah. at the same time right and so i lost a cowboy hat like that once <laughs> <laughs> so anyways you're like 20 bucks or 29 bucks and they're killing it what yeah. exactly is wait it? what yeah What's it do? I, I i don't think it's aired yet so i can't i'm not allowed to go into oh. the details yet but it, it was a great idea and i actually used it but, at home y y really yeah w would you buy something like that you think? Well, sell it. I, it's a great gift, right? Because it, it, it works. It, I mean, when you see it, when it... it right, I'll have to say, check it out. How, but how did they well, deal with... Because I couldn't figure out how to deal with the car door. When the no, door opens up. you don't do it on up. that side. You do it on the other side, in between like you and the, the stuff in the middle or your second seat. And then they put a slit in it for the seatbelt. Right for for the um, the thing for, that holds that you click the seatbelt into. Oh, it's so there, easy! And if you through. act now, we'll give you one for the passenger seat. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it was right there. It was right there. They're right for your face. Uh, that was your nineteen ninety nine. I could have bought. I could have bought the freaking. I would have bought the Hurricanes <laughs> and moved them back to Hartford. Right. You know, some dudes come on knowing they don't want a deal. They just want the PR, right? Because you're gonna get. You know, six, seven million the first time, and another five point five million every time. And you get to throw your website out there, or whatever. Oh, and that's, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, people come on not trying to get a deal, and I think these dudes were were in that position. What was the dumbest? Uh, what was the dumbest one that was presented oh, to you? Oh my God, Wake and Bacon, which was like a toaster with a timer set to it, so that you could put it by your I bed, see. and and you put some bacon in it at the night before, and it starts to cook it, but it, and you wake up to the smell of bacon. Right. All right. All right, and then you pull your your bacon right up, right next to your bed. Except it's right next to your bed, and it's a fucking toaster. One little spark, and your fucking head's on fire. Your bed's on fire. <laughs> yeah. How about you just get a wife and tell her to get up early? Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Maybe some bacon grease splatter going yeah, out of your right. face, <laughs> rotting bacon over overnight, smelling that fucking you know, raw meat. We had fart candles and um, the dude. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a Spencer <laughs> gifts type thing, right? Where it's just like a a, a goofy gag um, gag gift. But um, the dude. <laughs> this is passing around. So he had us on the show, smelling these fart candles, smelling these basketball games. I mean, just dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, do you, I heard, I heard made a killing with this brilliant invention was the guy who invented this little dumb cardboard triangle that you jimmy, you jam into your car seat so a pizza box kind of is flat in the car instead of like tilt. You know, you put a pizza box right, in your car right. seat, it tilts in the fucking cheese. That's not a bad idea. Whoever invented that, I heard, made a shitload of money because the box is straight. See, I wouldn't buy any of that shit. Hey, no, bro. but if you owned a pizza place, no, you might. Oh, yeah. But I, enough I, I people. Hey, for a while, I know. I know. Was, I was good friends with a guy who invented Chia Pets. Really? Yeah, he was one of my high school buddies. No Ch kidding. Ch Chia's. Hey, Michael Hirsch. This one's for you. Yeah. Yep. So that was his claim. I love his circle of friends. Yeah. Like it's yeah. My just, circle of friends aren't doing exactly. I'm between two of my friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> my one friend, fucking neither of my friends shaves. It's just creepy. Colin, anything? But go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you got an invention or anything? I have a few inventions. Yeah. yeah. Well, you might want to. I was thinking. Know, what do about a pitch? Well, this is more for MMA. You put like plastic surgery brass knuckles under the under skin. the skin, right? Somebody already came up with that one. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go try it. And then you know what I mean? You know I, what you mean? I actually did invent something, but I don't, I'm, I'm afraid it wouldn't. People wouldn't want it. No, they want it. So you don't know though. Let me pitch it. It's it, on baseball hats. You know that little uh, that little button in the middle of the hat. I have. I want a, a device that will rebutton baseball caps so that the button in the middle of the baseball cap never goes bad. That's a great idea. <laughs> hey, this is like an episode of your show. <laughs> hey, how's Access TV How doing for Access you? Access is doing really well. Yeah. Completely rebranded it to music and yeah. um, live events and stuff. And so it, it's, it's killing? Crushed. Yeah, it's crushing. I, did I got an I idea. I actually have an idea. That, yeah. I watch a lot of hockey, and every fucking game, somebody gets slashed on their calves, and the oh. announcer always goes, you know, there's not a lot of protection back there. And I'm always sitting there, why don't they put protection back there? That guy got his Achilles cut the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to make fucking the shield thing that goes all the way around. That's exactly how I would pitch it to you with the F word in it. What about what, this? Would you give me money? I don't, money? Know, why they, you I don't know, know why they don't make those, because guys have gotten their, their cap slash all the time. You got a million dollar athlete. You're protecting a million dollar investment. You know, people hate when you smoke in a car. Yeah. So if you're smoking in a car, it's cold. You don't want to open the window. The cigarette right. blows out. What about a tube that goes right out the window? <laughs> <laughs> That makes bacon. You, you smoke. I think you should go for it, Colin. <laughs> I want to invent something so you can use your cell phones on a plane, yeah. and but you don't want to disturb other people, and yeah. it's like a, a fishbowl that you would wrap around your <laughs> head, <laughs> and it's got room for your hand to go up and so you can talk on your cell on phone. With, um, um, Not a just on a plane. Someone came on the show with like a hoodie pillow, right? It's a pillow with a little hood on it. I... I Talk about That's it. actually not that bad. No, of I'm telling you, it's there's so many out of shape people that you do. You make anything that makes a fat person's life easier. Um, that's that's wide open. But so you can't. Yeah, I, 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 I think Mark can back me up on that. Wedge people into like a, a, a yeah. plane seat or a car seat. You know, a wedgie. Call it the wedgie. There you go. But you have to pitch it to old people. You can't pitch it to fat people because nobody wants to go. I'm a slob and I need that. So like the things that pick everything up, that you, no fat guy wants to go. I'm that fucking fat. So you pitch it like it's a really old person. Then a fat person will see it and go, Oh, I could use mm, that too. Right. The back scratcher, you know, or something that helps you pick shit <laughs> off the shelf. The or, shoe tire. The shoe. Yeah, exactly. Man, I have a bunch of inventions. Yeah. Mark, what are you promoting today? I'm trying to figure it out. Is it uh, everything? A little bit of everything. Shark Tank, yeah. ABC, yeah, Friday nights. We always talk about I need to come back on the show. I need Fuck to come back yeah. On the you, show, you're, so I got to come back on the show. You're one of the better guests, too, man. You always had, you're always prepared. You got great stories. You don't give a fuck. And he's throwing, his, the, he's throwing a jab should, at the other two guests by saying that. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should look into a company, uh, Skate Fenders. Skate Fenders? Skate Fenders. They make them, like, all these years, hockey players taking pucks to the foot. It's like getting shot with a, a, a Can I just 22 tell you caliber. Right now? What's that? Hockey is a fucked up business. There is nothing to be made in hockey. You don't think I so? Mean, no. All, it was That's a big... rogue sport. I'll admit it. No, it's. I mean, it's a fun sport. I mean, I like to watch. I got season tickets to the Stars. You know, I've been Penguins fan my entire life. But it's just so expensive that I mean, but asking hockey fans and hockey parents to buy even more. There's like no money left in the till. It's tough to get people to buy more stuff for hockey. Really? It's just it's an expensive. You just crushed my dream. I'm an Islanders fan. I'm suffering. Fuck. They're, they're actually doing better. But they're, they're doing all right. They're they're seven, cool. seven zip by the Flyers yesterday. But, I'm know, not sure those Philly season, fans were not obnoxious at all. Lockout season is always going to be bizarre, right? There's going to be, I mean, playing three games. and you know, That's great for the fans. It sucks for the athletes, but it's, it's, athletes, it's, yeah. it's great for us. More right. injuries. Yeah, they should not have went on strike. What are they thinking? That sport wasn't healthy enough to, to take no, that chance. But you know what? It's bounced back pretty well, you know, uh -huh. all things considered. Well, because now it's an exciting year. Because yeah, everything's compressed. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I would like, like to see. I would like to see every sport knock down their games. You'll see a hell of a lot. Right? You build those arenas. You no, I know. I understand it. why you can't. But I mean, do we really need 162 baseball games still? That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's kind of painful. Hey, who are the top like five non-sports acts that you put into your arena and you're like, I know I'm going to make money that. Night. Oh, pretty much anybody because Dallas is a good market for um, music. I mean, we I mean, all all the big grossing acts, Madonna, whatever. I mean, do you ever do in. the motocross stuff and bring all that dirt in there? You don't, do you? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, you we do, do that. Yeah, and we do the circus and all that too. Anything that pays the bills. Yeah, we. How the hell do they get all that damn dirt in there? Okay, <laughs> That's a great just, question. Yeah, I'm, dump trucks. Yeah. Dump trucks that just come in and dump over and over again. And then what oh, do they the do with the dirt? The they pack it up and bring no, the dirt to a new arena? No, they no, they just take it to whatever landfill, whatever, and dump. Oh, they it. get their dirt locally. Yeah. I would assume they're just Can you fucking driving around their dumb dirt. Trying to organize that, <laughs> right? Yeah, listen, way. I got this motocross event. Right. You got any dirt? Got any and dirt? you got to get it all out of there because the Mavericks are playing tomorrow. No, no, the worst is the circus, though. <laughs> yeah, because there's always that as they're bringing all the animals and getting it all set up, and we, we'll have practice or whatever, or we're down there for, I'm down there for business, it just makes the whole place stink like this. Now, what shit. is your liability if, like, a rhino runs into the crowd? Are they going to come after you, or probably, is it the circus? Probably. It's, you know, it's like McDonald's spilling the hot coffee, right? Everybody's just trying to get paid, so they'll come after me. Although I did see pictures of that woman's crotch afterwards. It was ridiculously hot. She yeah. looked like she got uh, napalm. It was brutal. Jesus. What about yes, like fly paper clothes? <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you do. You have fighting like MMA only. They're wearing fly paper so they attach to each other. So they're always staying like inside. <laughs> so we stay inside. That could work. That could work. Or you like at the same, you know, those big belly bumper things, right? Yeah. You MMA with big belly bumpers, right? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Hey, yeah. what about the guy who finally comes up with a football helmet that actually saves the brain? You know how big it would have to be? Saves the sport. Guy. 
Yeah, football's in trouble, man. Real trouble. Real trouble. These guys are getting way too fucking big for the sport. I got a three-year-old son. There's no way I'm. I got an almost three. There's no. That's the one sport I would say. Ah, we finally gonna watch. We're all gonna play soccer now. Hell no, I hate the soccer. I play rugby. Rugby, no, no equipment whatsoever. I mean, your head hit the ground, but you're not going to be stupid enough to put your head in someone's knee or put your head in someone else's head and go ahead, you know, like you would if you had a helmet on. I mean, you don't get. Well, that's funny because the the rugby fans always look at American football and say they're a bunch of pussies. They don't because they don't understand. But like. They're you full know, of fish and rugby, chips. You're not going to put your like head that? somewhere. We're in football. You're putting your head everywhere. Yeah. You know, you're, you leave you're, with your head. I, I can't imagine that no, mentality. Crazy. But uh, hockey, so all the fights and stuff. I mean, uh, how many of these dudes have died? No, this is the thing. I was the other day I was reading the guy last year, the top fighter in the league. He had like uh, like 22 fights. It, it basically, a six months. So you're talking 24 weeks of the regular Which is season. Nothing compared to the, back, the old Dave Schultz day. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But still. Could you have one bare knuckle fight basically every oh, week for oh, six months? Christ, no. Like how? Yeah, how, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Even fighters, boxers don't. I mean, well, yeah, yeah I could do years, it. Right? right. Those Irish tinkers do. They fight like a thousand fights and they're like bare knuckle. What's a tinker? <laughs> those Irish, you know, those guys. You never saw those Irish guys, like the travelers. Oh, the gypsies. <laughs> yeah. Well, Moving I mean, on. <laughs> 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 they are telling us you have to go, Mark. For real. Does he have to go, E? Never come around. Uh, you got yeah, other shit to, to do, Mark, today? I have no idea. I don't know why I want to do anything else. Uh, it's uh, M. Cuban on Twitter. He's, you're yes, a good sir. one to follow on Twitter, absolutely. You got the Shark Tank on ABC Fridays at 9. and then Necessary uh, Roughness tomorrow night. Necessary Roughness, finale. right. Yep, my big acting skills. And then, of course, Access TV, AXS TV. Yes, how, how, how do people get that? Um what time, we're, DirecTV, Dish, Charter, everybody but Time Warner and Cable. That's why I ask. I got yeah. Time Warner. Yeah, I don't see your Access TV. We're going to, I think we'll get something there, but I mean, because we're killing it. All the concerts, we do more live, con- live concerts on TV now with the big screens and the, and the music and the, the stereo coming out. Sounds good, looks good. And now, and most acts are into doing it oh, that way time, now. Big time, right? Yeah. And plus because of social media. So, you know, we've had everybody from Foreigner to Dave Matthews to John Mayer to to Pitbull to Lincoln Park unit to Papa Roach. I mean, every what channel they go on? What's that? What channel? It's called Access TV. Oh, they're on Access. Yeah, on oh, wow. Access yeah, TV, which yeah. we don't have on Time Warner. Yeah, but we're like three forty on on Direct TV and five sixty nine on Verizon. Nice. You know, so yeah, I, mean, I get the I get them. Yeah. But, you know, not with social media, you know, the whole what's changing now is like people are tweeting the Opie and Anthony show now. Right. You guys drive. They sure are. Yeah. You're saying get Colin out of the studio. Yeah. But you drive conversation, <laughs> right? How did I become your cocksucking patsy on this show? <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Opie. Go fuck yourself. Sorry, Mark. Go ahead. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> but anyways, now with, with, with social media. A lot right, of anger in this room today. No kidding, right? I, yeah. I'm like... Um, but with social media, people like want to talk about stuff now, right? And right. you need something to drive the conversation. So live radio, live TV are great drivers of social media conversation on Twitter in particular. Mm. So when you have live concerts, we've got people at the concert tweeting. We've got the people who are watching tweeting. And it just it's a great conversation because people are passionate about their music. And so it's working out really well for Axis. Nice. Appreciate All right. But now we got to get uh, Mark Cuban out. Bill Burr, Colin, thank you. Nothing. <laughs> you just want to get yelled at. <laughs> On behalf of Colin Quinn, thank you for having me. Well, I'll plug the MGM Grand this yes. Friday, Saturday. We make, we, we make a great right. couple coming out here. Great partnership, right? Me yes. and Colin, we got yes. a plan. <laughs> me and Atel, Friday, Saturday at the uh, Las Vegas uh, MGM. And uh, this Thursday, tickets for my uh, one-hour special in Boston go on sale this Thursday. Nice. Um, and I'm shooting the 29th of March. Oh, you know, speaking of comedy, Access TV's got Gotham Comedy Club here in New York. Mm. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, we've got Gotham Comedy Live. Uh, we had. I think uh, Riss just did that. I'm I saw that friend of, of mine, now, Paul Versey, did it. And yeah. Bob Kelly did it. Yeah, a bunch Bob of our Kelly. guys, yeah, uh, JT friends of ours. Miller, yeah. Orlando Jones, a bunch of people coming up. Right on, man. Yeah, so right. And the too. Patrice O'Neill benefit. Tonight. Tonight. A few tickets available starting at uh, noon at the noon. box office. They're, they're going to release a few if you're uh, in the area. Mark, always a pleasure. Thank uh, you, anytime, sir. Anytime, guys. I love coming on. Mark Cuban, everybody.